first game here. We're going to Celebration on the scene. I think this is the stage a lot of people end up picking in this game so far when they kind of want that neutral, no gimmicks kind of stage. You know, it's a fairly decent size as well, but there's no stage hazard to worry about. And we're going to get to round run, one right here. No, I like what you said about the, the stage two, because I, I actually love this stage two. It's slightly asymmetrical, but not so much that it's gimmicky. Just feels like a nice clean Tekken stage and also damn beautiful. Enjoy right there, getting the clean launch, trying to go for the back one too. B-Man stays down, eats the match on the eats a hit on the ground, and the low parry gonna go right back to this wall, tries to set it up again. B-Man has gotta try and fight back here, but the Iron Mountain, get out of my face. Even if it got blocked. Jor had such a huge life lead to bet it on it. Wouldn't yeah, have exactly. Died just you can always pull the trigger when you've got enough life to sort of back you up. Mm -hmm. Nice low parry in return from B Man. Can we get to the wall here? No, I'm gonna end it with the 4-4-3. Trying to control this wall. Ooh. Oh, get on the wall now. Heat engager. Oh, didn't go for a tornado. Tried to extend the combo, but ends it with the heat smash out of stealth step. Oh, we're gonna float him. Mm -hmm. Jor right. trying to get some distance, but he's slowly backing himself against the wall, but the slide is going to change the positions there. Another Game one. Mm -hmm. A third. Oh, no. Oh, he tried to kick up, but that gave him a float, but B-Man wasn't ready to convert for a combo. Jor trying to get nice. And we're going all the way. I that don't was, think um, that worked. He combo work. though. It looked cool, but not the best usage of your rage. Ooh, but it might not matter. No duck. And then trying to finish it off here. Oh. Finally what? decides to knock me. Oh, pulls the trigger on the one. That could have been risky. Oh, nice. Oh, the, the rage art at the wall. That was uh, that was a little wacky. So, I mean, obviously you'll see the Pauls love to go into Death Fist after that, but the, the rage art, uh, I don't, maybe maybe uh, Zor knows something I don't know. Uh, listen, it comboed, so it looked it definitely looked cool. But I thought, yeah, like, like you said, they definitely ended with the death fist there. I don't know if he fat fingered his rage art bind or just missed input what he wanted to do. One thing I'm noting from Zor has not done, has not used that heat burst yet. We haven't seen him in heat mode yet at all, and it, he doesn't seem to care. He doesn't but even like that system. Just I'm just playing straight up tech. Final <laughs> round, game one. The duck. Ooh, finally! Okay, maybe he's listening to what I'm saying now, because he's finally gone into heat mode right now. Maybe we'll see that guard break come into play. Oh, no. and you're done. You're, you're just done. dead. <laughs> the creative wall stuff said, hey, I know I messed up the last one, but uh, let me let me just have another chance, please. Sometimes you, just, you overthink a little bit. You, you're like, you're trying to perform to the crowd. Really, just, exactly. just keep it's it simple. It's hard to perform for an audience, you know? It's not yeah. easy. Uh, you got to keep it simple, especially with this character where you don't necessarily like, obviously, like you mentioned, you can do the, 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 the three, two back sway death fist, but you can just do a back sway two. just, it's, keep it's, it, a, yeah, it's, exactly. actually, it's damage on the table, but it's, you know, you don't got to worry about it. It's almost impossible to mess up. Almost, you know, nothing is impossible in this game, but actually two, you're in a generous Oki situation. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Right. And especially in turn of situation. Sure. We're talking, take every optimal damage you can, except if you're coin flipping it, maybe just go with the easy stuff. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna bet seven doll hairs that it was a misinput. <laughs> All right, B man's switching the stage here. It looks like now we have a stage hazard in play. You see it in the back right there, the explosive barrels. But interesting that he picked this stage in particular. Oh, doesn't punish the power crush. Still hasn't oh, ducked that 442, yeah. yeah. And Jor sure gonna get all this damage and the wall positioning. Ends it with the backstory yep. too. Easy. Trying to get some Oki here. Ah, oh, no punish. punish from B man. No duck again. Gotta watch that. Nice parry though. Ends it with the, the stealth three. Trying to get some Oki. Trying to control the wall, but that forward one goes four. And beautiful little sidestep to avoid. The Shaheen up for one and takes round one of game two. Oh, 32. You're on the safe wall, if there was ever a safe wall. He fights out with the Iron Mountain once again. He breaks the throw. 
Another run two, trying to push him back towards that wall oh, this time. Oh, oh no, he dash. He could have killed with it. B man, kind of when he's getting these key wall splats, he's leaving a decent yeah. amount of damage on the table. You're absolutely right. Even without the the, the heat dash in that, just an optimal wall combo would have done the unscaled ender for the damage for the kill. But just the forward Ooh. two one there, not enough. 4421X activates the stage hazard. Oh, B-Man staying down, trying to fight his way out with the spring kick, no dice. Got a little bit of life yet, but trying to recover it. But, ooh, oh, you just needed to do the, uh, just do the simple one. Speaking of simple stuff to do, just, you had this much life, two HP. Next slide, guaranteed follow up. Trying to set something up here. Oh, Next. clip. Clipped by the troop roll, not a second time though. Breaks the throw. Ooh, runs into the forward four. Oh, yeah, I was looking for that feet. running two again. Too close though. Go, gets the demo man block this time. Good combo. Gonna try and get the wall split as well. Gets it. Back four, pop him up, activates heat. Doesn't break the one throw, switches sides. He's got it. Ooh. Oh, get yeah, with the heat dash. Mm -hmm. Could have ended it there. And just a little whiff punish from Shore, and he takes it. B Man, I really, it was really weird because there was a lot of good things out of him right there. He yeah, and then cool. if you pop heat, you know, you don't even have to get him perfect. Don't even and have to. Be good. But you get rewarded if you do by getting your heat meter back. So, but we're going to get a Ma Reyna mirror right now in our second game of tonight. Hasteful so usage. Four, four, of the twos right off the bat. <laughs> See which one is the better one, Techie King versus Bro, It's Raijin. a Reina match. We're about to mm -hmm. see so many 4 4 twos. <laughs> All right. Jaw drop with the wall, but Retro Waver trying to fight his way out, whiffing the 4 uh... 4. You got to remember that second hit of that power crush from Reina is nice, minus 16. Mm -hmm. Let's him spend the heat dash. Oh, but the safe. So, ooh. Ooh. unfortunately, with that probably you could just rage art it. I know it's all hindsight's twenty twenty, right? We have a we have an eagle eye view, but sometimes you just gotta spend it. I think a, a lot of people are so focused on heat in this game that sometimes they actually forget that rage is there and still uh, has a mechanic to be used. I know heat's just so upfront. You're absolutely right. People, I, I play with people who I go, why didn't you just rage art me? I don't understand. You would have won. <laughs> Speaking of heat, Retro Waver activating his, spends it on the downforward one two, gets the electric kick. Does it confirm unwise. And still gets a pretty substantial combo, even though the wall was in the way on the side. Spends the heat smash and the Heaven's Wrath two frame trap. You can't do anything about it. Yeah, yeah, very, very worth. That rage art hits from a range of 3.65. Don't let anybody tell you that's not a good heat smash. Too high, and then right there again, the Heavens are up two. Forcing the issue with the 4 4 2 and the Sentai 3. Nice little sidestep. Oh, it, wow, that was an instant full crouch down 4 4 from Jaw Drop. He's got to teach me how to do those. Trying to even up the life bars here. Electric kick for your pleasure. Oh, and a beautiful very nice block. block. Beautiful block on the Hell Sweep. And ends it with the jab into the down 4 1. So much damage on that wall combo for how easy it is to do. Jaw drop trying to get the last round in this first game here, but Retro Waver, right and true, running three, goes into Hell Sweeps. Heat Burst trying to take his turn back. Three plus four, oh. trying to find this mark. They haven't broken the stage hazard yet. Ooh. Hey, that is remarkable that we did not get an explosion. <laughs> Nice and that's launch punish. punishable, speaking of explosions. Too low. I don't know what he was expecting there. Maybe he thought it would be another wall splat that would save him, but he didn't even spend his tornado extension yet. A sent easy, like a Sentai 2 or something would have made that way easier. But I think Reyna versus Reyna, Kai, it's like two bulls just butting heads. And sometimes you get so caught up in the tempo that your brain like skips a beat. And then you, <laughs> you just drop a critical combo like Retro Waver did there.
Yeah, one of the things that changed from seven to eight um, that kind of made things a little bit easier for pretty much every character is that the the change from a horizontally moving extender into a vertically launch moving mm -hmm. extender made those sort of sidewall situations almost sort of just work a lot more, right? Combos yeah. that used to just end, now they get extended and kicked back off the wall a lot. So I'm willing to bet that if just fin like continue to do the combo, that might have picked up off the wall normally into Rage Art. It, you yeah. know, again, we'll never know, but... Um, one of the things I really love about Jaw Drop in this match is that they seem to be understanding the principle of the forward forward two confirm a lot more, which means the ducks are happening a lot more and the faulty um, set like right threes there. are happening less. Yeah, exactly. right there, he's blocked the forward forward two and you saw him twitch duck. Okay, unbreakable throw, 20 damage, not enough to kill. Spends the heat first. Jar Jar trying to make something happen. Mixing it up. The Thunder God fist into the mid. Oh, yeah. You gotta. Uh. Yeah. That's one thing. Even as a Reina player, sometimes you forget. When she's in heat, that Heaven's Wrath stamps. The auto parry. That's rough. Yeah. Because any other time, that would have been money. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, and I, I love, I really love that. I play a lot of Reynas, as everyone does, very popular character. And when people don't confirm that, it always just feels ugly. But man, Jaw Drop is, is using them expertly. I really love the ability to look, just look with your eyes. Just look with your eyes. Nice electric. Should be an easy combo. I like the Sentai 3 as well to put them squarely on the wall, but a little bit greedy with his wall combo choice. Trying to spike down with the stomp. Retro Waver gets the down for one heat engager. Right next to the wall blast and cashes out. Should be easy right now. Very nice. And, Very nice. And Retro Waver this stage pick is working out for him using the wall blasts. The other thing that you can do though, on you were mentioning how good he is at hit confirming it. When you know the Reyna is good at it, that means if you block. Usually, if you block a 4-4-2, that, that, that gives you an opportunity to challenge where you normally would not be able to. You're absolutely right. Just knowing that they're not going to unwisely and so and stupidly pull the trigger on moves that don't make sense. When something makes sense, you can turn that against them. Yeah, I like to call that, you know, sometimes you punish, you can punish people for being smart. Not going to hit the wall, though, but Retro Waver on his last little bit here. He's got Rage. Double Hell Sweep. Oh! oh yeah, get off me. Just, speaking of Rage, Jaw Drop, that second Hell Sweep put him into Rage, and he challenged on that last interaction. It's going to go to final round in game two, Kai. I, 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 re I actually really love the play here. We're seeing... We're seeing some uh, some Reyna with like functioning brain cells, and you you have to love that, right? Mm -hmm. I I am actually really impressed with both of them keeping it cool. Yeah, you know, like these two characters that a lot of characters people think is very easy to play, and they might be right. And there's a lot of bit of little bit of unga bunga with Reyna a lot of times, but they're definitely playing that level of the matchup where it's like, well, I know that you know that I know kind of stuff. Uh, very Super. well. Yeah. yeah. The heat smash, trying Heaven's Wrath mix. Retro Waver stays blocking, but the hop kick challenge. How far can you get across the stage? Ending with the Sentai 1 2. No wall blast on this side of the stage. Challenge the Sentai 4, floats him with a down 4 2. Can we? Oh, he could have cashed out with the Rage Art Kai. Oh, 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 oh. Once again, unwise fiscal policies leading to he didn't the tech. heat. He didn't tech roll on the stone head, and I don't know if Jaw Drop just reacted to him not tech rolling or not, but well, everybody seems like Jake Man, Jasandy, Shadow, Victim, Joe Crush, Fear, King Ray, they're all separated in pools from each other, so we won't see the big the big dogs play each other until top 32 or so. Ooh, thought they'd get to the wall, no go. You see right there, again. Oh, oh. Stepping not allowed. He started stepping and walking a little before the move came out, so it kind of naturally realigned. Life God Wave trying to get something going now with this flamingo pressure, but gets Oh, that's the second time! Ooh! Heat first, yes. Oof. To be launched by that twice in the same round in the same situation, that's rough. 
I, if I can complain about the game in general, it feels like, you know that little strong, like that tailspin mechanic that they give for combo extenders? Oh, they gotta yeah, give those out a little bit more equally because some peoples are way more usable than others in combos, to be honest. That is, as the kids say, big facts. Uh, not everybody gets the slow fall tailspin uh, the same way. Some people get it like candy, some people get maybe one, mm -hmm. some people get none. Some people, yeah, Nina gets a bunch like candy if you're good. If you're good, it, there is a bit of execution in getting multiple, but I've definitely I've seen uh, if people in the chat are familiar with uh, KYSG, those combo makers. I've seen one of them uh, basically do I think five down back twos in a combo. With Nina. That's pretty. Uh, yeah. yeah. If you get heat burst in there, you get another two. So yeah, you could do one, two, three into the post extender into after heat. Jeez, that would be insanely hard. Red Blossom, two strong rounds, but Snipe God Wave bringing it back in round three with a very strong performance of their own. One, two, two, one into the low. Running two, trying to push towards the wall behind Snipe God Wave. It's right there. Don't get wall splatted. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, that back four, three. Such a great hitbox, especially if you're comparing it to its Tekken 7 iteration. I believe one frame faster, it was 14 frames, it's 15 frames in the previous game. And now it hits so low now, and it has such great tracking that you definitely see the Dragon Ball players just throw out those back those back four strings because they're almost always gonna reach and connect. Just so. Absolutely incredible range, downward hitbox. The thing just does so much work. You're gonna you're gonna see it until it gets nerfed and then you're gonna see it still because even nerf that will still be a good button it, it's really it's it's one of those things where you say damn you have the speed battle. and the hitbox and the damage and the wall spot and the heat engager you just get to have it all let's build it okay i actually kind of like this stage pick from snipe god wave because he was definitely getting put on that wall really fast really early from red blossom so at least it'll take a little bit more to get to the wall in this stage i've seen it happen but Enough of these uh, crotch dash Ooh. three axe kicks get blocked. You might get there. Oh, runs into the launcher. With heat, you might get yeah. Oh, oh no, it's a far. little too far away. Heat smash. I don't know what snipe. No, no couldn't armor tell piercing. Quite. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot. You're not going to be able to armor through heat smash. That's how it is. Maybe yeah, a this, future version may be different, but it's not right now. Yeah, there's a kind of high, a hierarchy of what beats armor in this game. And then, you know, heat burst and power crushes, they lose to lows and throws. But heat smash will just kind of blow through armor regardless. And then Rage Art obviously is the top. It has like, you know, the best armor whatsoever. If you can survive a heat, a heat smash, you can Rage Art through it. Oh, very nice. Nice duck from Red Blossom. Ooh, messes up the combo though, but doesn't let it bother them. Oh, no move. punish. Spins heat burst back, trying to get some space, but a little bit late on that whiff punish. And, you know, keeping it easy with the DF2. And what's so crazy about that is in that situation, a heat smash would have been functionally the same as a rage art because of the amount of life they have left. Nice sidestep launcher from Snipe God Wave. Are we gonna end this? Heat burst, we're gonna spend the heat dash? No, we just wanna keep pressure. Nice, good damage, and the one two punish on the whiff, keeping it simple, and we're gonna go to a game three here. That, that was good a choice. Pretty... That was a pretty amazing adjustment. I would say the space, as you called out earlier, was a, was a deciding factor in that. It, mm -hmm. it, it, the fact that uh, God Wave was able to actually turn whiffs into reverse damage, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, that's classic Tekken, right? We'll let them do something unsafe and get a little desperate, maybe throw something out just to see if it hits. It's not gonna hit because I was backdashing and now it's my turn. So, I mean, excellent adjustment. Yeah. We'll see if uh, Red Blossom makes the counter adjustments. Like, okay, this guy, I've, you know, Obviously was scared of, you know, be, being forced, having his back forced to the wall. So let me just bring him back to a smaller stage. And it looks like we're going to do something of the sort with Arena. Put you in a box. Mm -hmm. And we saw it in the first game, like one, two, three, you know, running twos or CD fours. Oh, and all of a sudden your back's to the wall. A great duck from Snipe God Wave. Maybe he's getting used to Red Blossom's way of pulling oh, Dragon Oh, that was big. I got hit. I got hit. 
faked him out twice. <laughs> oh, the fox step into the rolling choke. This isn't guaranteed anymore. And the crouch jab takes it. Oh, oh wave dash in his face. All right, that game one, feeling feeling smooth now, but the one two one counter hit takes it again. The back two four now. What Snipe God Wave did not want. He's got his back to the wall here, but fights the way out with the counter hit. All the way to the wall, you gotta be joking. You joking, that's illegal in Wisconsin. Then the oh. jab. Beautiful adjustments here from Snipe God Wave. Two rounds in a row in this final game. Gets the punish, trying to mix him up. Another punish once again. Oh, everything's working for him, Kai. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, and your toes. A punish. Oh, okay, Violet. Oh, there, it's over. It's over. Red Blossom tried to put Snipe Godwave in a box, but he said, I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. <laughs> Those were some uh, versus J. Joe, Kazia versus King. This was the Zilla I was gold. thinking of. Did they coordinate? Yeah. Oh, get off me. You're getting shoved. And King, another character that's no, on people's uh, people's lips these days complaining. Beautiful wave dash into the Twin Pistons right away, even if it got back dashed. Ah. That was just a little too close to the wall. Almost was out. Oh, the giant swing. Oh, but, uh, luckily for him, not going to get thrown into a wall. Oh, not and Tech rolls it. That's been the heat dash. Nice throw. <laughs> That's Ooh, not good. That's not good work there, Chief. A string in a throw, that's not happening. <laughs> All right, so very good awareness of when it's throwing those counter hit buttons. Good breaks right. too. Jeez, OP. Zilla is actually busted. good at breaking. <laughs> yeah. And he has amazing, like, he has amazing execution as well. And good awareness. He knows when's the right time to bring out those hell sweeps. Uh, really, and then like you said, oh again, amazing CD two that just barely whiffed. King it was the a wind micro on that away. One. Yeah. <laughs> one plus two, three takes it. Spends the heat burst, but doesn't oh, break the oh, regular break, throw. Doesn't break the generic. I mean, yeah. you, you only see that throw normally when you miss him put power driver anyway. So, <laughs> so maybe maybe just didn't didn't think it was coming. Okay, gets the counter hit forward for two two into the ripcord lariat. Great. Duck from Zilla, bringing it downstairs as well. We get to the wall here. Ooh, what the hell, oh, sweet try, was... but couldn't get it. Right call, wrong number of moves. Get back on the wall. Oh, oh, oh the call out. He bursts right away. Spends the back one too. Can we kill? No, but we're going to put him into an Oki situation. Try to finish him off. Round three to Zilla. Oh. Nice blocks, but no punishes really from J. Joe. Gets All right, the you muscle turned bus. around, didn't get up. Now you're on the wall. No break on the shiny wizard. Okay, your back's to this. Oh. To this wall blast. You gotta be careful. Beautiful punish. Yes. Matchup specific. Be careful throwing that out too often. Nice once again. Oh, I thought he was going to keep going with that yeah, one. Yeah, a dodge forward 1-2 would have been enough to extend off that one. Just didn't think to do it in the moment. A lot of it going on. Are we spend heat burst here? Yes, we are. Just enough to kill? No. Okay. That final, final round here. One tip for you guys learning this game. Don't do a long combo into heat smash. It scales like crap. You're going to do no damage. Just do a it's heat burst cool. into something into a heat dash yeah. and then do a grounded hit. You'll do so much more damage. Yeah, honestly, body slam running two plus four probably would have ended it there after the heat yeah. smash. Ooh, the range. Ooh, again, the, the down back one, two, his fastest option to heat dash off of. And he finishes it off with the grounded hit at the end. Zilla taking the first game and looking really strong. And managing to survive the top tier king. Overall, I, I think that it actually was mostly Zilla's game for a lot of that. And I felt like uh, Jejo just kind of 
not not got lucky, but had very fortuitous situations occur. Azilla mm. seemed to be in control of things like spacing, counter hit awareness, ducking those highs. Um, kind of doesn't matter though if the if it's that close. So we're gonna see if JJO can turn that uh, closeness into a dub on their side this time. Throw, got a lot of you know decent throw up temps, but like you mentioned, you get to, to you get too predictable with those and with the strings that end in highs. Zilla's already shown he's ready to duck and launch you. You see the shove? Ooh, whiffing the power crush. Good step. No break on the giant swing. We're way too far for any wall to come into play. Nice backdash from Zilla, but not ready for the whiff punish. The step is actually going crazier now on JJO's side. Yeah. Very nice stuff so far. Yeah, but he's stepping, oh, and you're done. He's not ready to really punish with anything super threatening, but he's definitely shown that he's ready to step these key Kazuya moves. Which is sort of getting Zilla in trouble. The, the whiff punishing is not there on Zilla's side right now. Ooh, but speaking of beautiful back three whiff punish from J. Joe. Just pulls the trigger on. Oh my goodness. You're done. Perfecto. Hits him with the chest bump, frame traps into the giant swing, and two quick rounds for J. Joe here. Oh, Zilla starting to finish strings. Might be a sign of frustration. And, uh, and it's it's not that you can do them all the time, but you gotta get some of these whip punishes in there. Ooh, try and try to hit him ducking, but nice. Jejo, and there's that Zilla duck. Jejo, Jejo does not want to duck. We might see start seeing some more hell sweeps come out. Ooh, counter hit, J shining wizard, running three. Zilla crouch dash, trying to get some space. Oh, they trade with the shove. Couldn't get anything. Heat first, trying to get his space back. Heat dash. Did he press a button? No. Beautiful patience from Zilla to keep it in game two here. Staying alive. That was getting a little slippery there. Okay. Breaks the two. Nice. Another. Great. The block punishment is normally on point, so I got to give him up for that. It's just got to make sure to capitalize on those whiffs. When you're, when you're the only character in the game that can launch punish that move, you have to make them count. Down back four. Oh, no duck that time, though. Chest bump. I oh, mean, frame oh. trap. He was expecting a throw and got hop kicked that time. First. Yeah, they're both thinking oh. first. <laughs> Ooh, caught J. Joe hesitating. When, when you had that last little life, it's like, what do I do? What do I do? And you get caught. You get caught in the ankles. But final round here. JJO trying to bring us to a game three. Zilla trying to end it here. Beautiful Ooh. low parry from JJO. Ending it with the spinning power bomb. Trying to get some Oki here. Zilla answering back with the heat engager. JJO trying to reset back to open space. Comes back in with the running three. Oh, this is follow up. Ooh, doesn't confirm to the last part. Spends the heat dash at the end. Trying to get something going. Oh. Punish. Go for neutral. Breaks the giant swing. Oh, regular throw. Beats him out with the counter hit. Alley kick low oh, mid. The my. classic, classic. Brings it to game three here, Kai. Uh, I got to honestly give it up to, to both these guys. There were some moments of brilliance on both sides. They're very clean sidestepping in the beginning there. Having an early lead and Zilla managed to barely hold on and bring it back to that one. It, it's it's pretty crazy how they're adjusting around one another. This is some pretty exciting tagging, I got to say. Mm -hmm. Both these guys paint. No, both these guys do what I just simply say, man. They're looking at the screen, man. They're looking at what the opponent is doing, how they're countering. You saw... Beautiful mix-up from JJ right now. The the last time he hit him with the forward one plus four king chest bump, he hit him and he tried to he frame trapped him with the giant swing. The second time he went for that setup, he immediately hop kicked because he respected Zilla's ability to remember what happened. You know, sometimes people say you know it takes you know three tries for you to change. JJ believed Zilla was going to change on the very second interaction. Right, he's he a comedy pioneer. Off. Comedy comes yep. in twos for him. Mm -hmm. Irish whip, finally gets a counter hit down forward two here. Gonna try and make it count. The basic B&B, love to see it. 
I don't yep. mind. Oh, beautiful low parry. A lot of low parries between going back and forth between these guys in this set so far. Ends it with the spinning power bomb. Ooh, ah. once again. Abolishing fist. God, this is powerful. That, that huge gut punch from Zilla. You definitely felt an F you from that one. So whenever Kazuya kind of hits it there, you definitely feel like, yeah. screw you, man. You're going to kick this life bar right now. <laughs> Oh, man. And again, hiding it behind two moves that are known for buffering those giant swings. Very excellent. Ooh, dodges the running explorer. Nice. Ooh. Oh, my goodness gracious. If you crash, Speaking you of gut two. punches that you feel. <laughs> Ending with the running power bomb. JJ with a decent life lead here. Heat burst cancel from Zilla. Spends it right away, trying to get some sort of momentum going. Gets the life lead, though. Oh, that was much. Gotta get in those. Nice break. Again. Nice break. Finishing with the mid. Looking good. Looking good. Zilla wants to close this one out. 3-0. Let's see if he does it. Okay, Joe got to try to do something to bring it back right here. Oh, tried to go for with the head smash on the knee. Ooh, punish. Beautiful. I got one of them, too. Sweep mid, how sweep mid again. One of these days. Oh, but the spring kick comes out, the old spring kick. Again, oh, that's the second time. Move, move. Yeah, you gotta know. Chest bumping it down for a one. That's that's crucial. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, we're sending this one to round four. JJ looking real good here, especially when he decides to just kind of chill out in mid range, try to reset the situation. We're just but going we're in! We're finally going for our first chain throw. Extension broken. And Ooh. tags him with the electric in the open. I feel like even he wasn't ready for that because he just saw the jab come out instead of a second electric. Breaks the good giant break. swing. Let's bump. Duck jab does not want to get thrown. A counter hit into the Rainmaker Lariat. Oh, stuffs out the heat burst. Yeah, we're about to burst. Oh, no break. One more hit. Three. Oh, 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 not the down three before. Final, final round here, Kai. Who's going to take it? Chain throw again. You can guess right twice in a row. Same yes, break. you Same are. Break. Oh, no, whiffs. Starting to throw out his own electrics offensively. Kazuya's like, I got throws too, friends. A Ooh. second stone hand, evening up the life bar. Oh <laughs> no! Steel <laughs> pedal misses, that's a heartbreaker. Not quite enough, but we're close. Enough. Oh man, the down back three is hit so many times. One last chance for Zilla here, spends the heat, the heat dash right away. Only has rage as a, as a resource. Ah. Oh. Brave challenge. I mean, uh, sh show some guts. Show some cojones there. But important. Round one. All right, we're, we're on tagged. The same. Oh, I like it. We're on the River Seine once again. Enjoying the horns. Good trade right at the end. Wow, the QCF2 from Tuya. All right. Making a making his intentions known right from that the is jump. And so this is exactly brutal. what I was talking about earlier, Kai. Dragon off players, they get that one hit. They smell that blood in the water, and they just want to run you over. And man, the CD4 basically at the wall on the ground, it just spells inescapable pressure. When I saw when I saw Snail get basically floor spiked by that CD4, I was like, oh no. Oh no. Oh, you can even punch that because every one of his running moves just gets him out of danger. Yep. <laughs> it's totally fair. He goes right past you, and now the running slide on top of it. He's hitting him with the full move list right now, Kai. And a perfect. What's the He's trying to speed run his He's way trying to out record of the a character pool. guide right now. Yeah. Ooh, oh, nice. Okay. Finally gets some action. Heat engaged to the wall. 23. Oh, Ooh. beats out the backswing blow with the 4-3 into the DDT. Brace the break. throw. Maybe Snail finally gets some, getting some feet underneath himself. I like this. Yep. And now, you know, trying. Ooh, Ooh the low drop kick, not enough to kill. Nice. Oh, that was oh, sick duck. Oh. That was a sick duck snail redeeming oneself. 
and Snail slowing it down, giving him a chance to breathe, a little chance to compose himself. Oh, Ooh. what a hit confirmed from what's it to you? <laughs> what is this? Okay, I thought he was gonna show me something amazing. You can't but... leave! You're not allowed to leave! You live here now! You're at the wall! What's it to you? Snail had that one good round, but besides that, that first game was all What's it to you's dragging off. Oof, that was. I felt intimidated. Ah, uh, dragon now. <laughs> hey, the, the little groans he makes is the groan I make when I see him in action at a high level. It is upsetting. It's morally disturbing. It's ethically troublesome. <laughs> and yet, it's so damn good. <laughs> Get ready for the next All right. Battle. Snail had one good round. We're bringing it to descent into the subconscious, trying to break some floors here. Maybe uh, Snail wants that heat smash and try and break it in one. But a smaller, at least this upper level is smaller than the previous stage was. So if he starts getting rushed down by what's the two dragon of, he's going to find himself near the wall right away. But it looks like it's going to be the opposite right now. Oh, oh push the button! You saw it last time! Yeah, he showed it to you already. Oh, 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 oh. It's really hard for me to hate Dragonov too because you know I want to, but everything he does is so damn cool. Especially that heat smash. There's two running, running two or running one, and then a a Urian chariot tackle on top. I can't hate on it, man. I want to, but I can't. Oh, the duck was sick, man. Honestly, just playing with his food at the moment. You know, trying to find oh, a beautiful step. step. That was sick. Mm -hmm. Heat smash. Oh, this is heat smash. Oh! It's gonna break. Oh, but he dies. He doesn't even need to break. He just kills him straight out. Just kill him. Just oh. kill him. I'm always surprised how much damage that heat smash does compared to most of the others in the game. Yeah, it is numero uno when it comes to damage. Dubbing him, trying to get a counter hit. Ooh. But once it's you gets his oh, own. Again, and on the three. ground, that's such a good move. Yeah, if if you're trying to roll that move, you have to oh roll. Oh my! You have to side roll right. Makes me but, so angry. Everything hits grounded. Yep. <laughs> Can't even sit down. <laughs> it's not enough punch. Counter hit. We're going down. Yes, we are. Are we going to end this? Keeper? Yes. Boom. Into the wall. Oh. You gotta hold it. Oh, oh, nice. Way to fight out of there. You know, he's got rage. He's popping nice. heat burst. Yeah. Try to get something going here. Maybe it's break. It's coming. Oh, no. tackle. Ooh, perfect damage to kill. The tackle's unbreakable, but the follow-ups are not, which means Snail unfortunately just got he had a 33% chance to be right on Twitter. Twitter. Shaheen's definitely in that tier, which I think is the safe. Early on in this game, that's the tier you want to be in. Yes, because you don't want to get shot too early. Right? You don't want to be, be in complaining tier because it. you don't want to get nerfed. Right, you want to get you want to set a precedent where like you can't take that away from they had that the whole, for like whole season one. Come on, you want to be in that zone. And I mean, overall, it's just like you said, not a lot of people complaining. Like I don't think I've heard anybody complaining about any of of the the three Shaheen players that exist. Uh, he'll get a good combo from Ali, but Glaciating trying to turn it around with this max range giant swing, just barely hitting the wall. Ali spending heat first and heat smash right away, trying to get some momentum back. He still has rage here. Glaciating hasn't spent his heat well, just yet. Oh, did he counter hit confirm? Heat burst right uh, now. I don't know ran what right Ali into was it. Doing. Yeah, I don't know what Ali was quite doing, but it beat it out and took that last little bit of his life bar. All right, pedigree, heat burst on deck, single alley kick for Oki. Punish. Man, just the straight up punish. Go, yeah, oh, Wavu. And you see the King wave dash from Glaciating. I don't know if he's practiced it, but the, when I saw him streaming and somebody asked him about it, he said he was a fraud. He can only do it on 2P. 
<laughs> and that might be true because now he's on 1p and we're not seeing it very much. Nice little closer here. It's basically a one touch game. If it's a big touch, oh! Ooh, couldn't chase him down. Oh, that was the Piper. Punish, trying to end it here. The stealth one plus two doesn't work, and the DF one from Glaze hitting. Close rounds so far. But you can tell, you can tell it's a very intense game too because a lot of like the the on paper stuff is not going either of their way. Like some of the punishes or a little suboptimal stuff like that, which means they're really like locked in. They're focusing. Oh, misses the pickup. Oh, dash up giant swing. If Ali does not tech this, he is dead. Please tech it. Yes, okay. We got one little bit. Heat first cancel. That and... was actually sick. Glaciating said, I'm just going to be on top of you because you'll be recovering as the attack happens. He basically put him in a mix from full screen because he heat burst canceled. <laughs> yeah, and he went for the slide. If if Ali tried to come, you know, with that buff now, if Ali tried to commit to a rage art or something too early, Glaciating could have blocked. And going for the slide at the end, if he managed to hit him, he'd be in the air and not take as much damage. So great choice from Glaciating at the end there. Uh, pretty confident, a, a little bit, a little weirdly messy. And again, some of those like small moments where you say on paper, should have punished with this, should have done that, should have blah, blah, blah. I mean, it didn't really matter. Glaciating had that one in hand from the start. All right, we're switching right. to Reyna here. We, we are switching up. Our first mid-set character switch of the night. Going with this uh, Kishin Reyna. But unfortunately, we ran them into, into, into the stratosphere, which uh, Ali's gotta be careful on match point. He doesn't wanna get caught with a lot of king moves that could break, blow up the floor here. Oof. And three takes it. Keep for dash. Oh, did oh my white didn't hit flush, grounded. Put it. I think Ali's just like, just kill me, bro, man. Ali, it's, let's it's go like... on to the next one. Run the next one. <laughs> they trying to get some things going, but another back three into the big Hogan leg drop. The just pulls the trigger on that send three. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta do it. How sweet. Comes right off into heat dash. Gets him against the wall. Extra frame advantage. Ooh, nice duck on that giant swing into the wall. But the counter hit back one, two into the immediate running power bomb. Rain up trying to backdash out, but just a little bit of damage. Heat smash. You gotta get. He didn't even bother. He doesn't even do the run. Table. The yeah. no run fake out. I love that. Round three. Fight. Place hitting on hand for a 6 0 here. Sidewalk two, running power bomb, boom! boom. We're gonna do it again. About fifty-five percent right there, Kai. <laughs> oh, get a little bit of that back. Thank goodness. Oh, the down four one two spells wall. Are they trying to bring it back, but the rage art. I don't want to eat oh, it. And he no, raged. and heat's gone. <laughs> Yeah, he tried to do the Heaven's Wrath low heat smash and got beat out. Good damage, bring it back, still has heat. Regular throw! And beats him out. Get him in the back! Hit. Oh! Nice duck. What a beautiful duck at the end right there. A little bit of smash. The heat does not get consumed until it's active frame. So normally you stuff out somebody's heat smash and you get to keep your heat, but not in that unsitu unlucky situation for him. But we're already into our next match. He of Who versus Goishin, the Victor versus the Jack 8. This is the fastest match we've got going going tonight. I appreciate appreciate these guys getting in the lobby quick. Classic DLC skin from week two. Yep. <laughs> and he of who, you know, the, the generic throws got nerfed, but he's still sticking it out with the victor. Still a very annoying character to deal with, especially once he's in heat. That move that he's bringing out is get, can go into EI stance. He, then he shoots him with the gun. He's just doing all the weapons, man. Glacian uh, trying to fight back with his Jack 8. Going in the stance. Ooh, not. Oh, you're done. And 
the rage, the heat smash in rage from Goishin, taking back that second round that for looked like it was keys for a long time. Yeah. And I mean, everybody's kind of getting used to it now, but Jack represents one of those extremes on the heat smash usability, right? 10 frames, 10 frames. The only one at a time. He uses punish, grabs him out of a power crush. Ooh, bad whiff, but only a small punish. Breaks the plus two throw. <laughs> oh, you son of a gun using that move, the meme. <sighs> oh, that heat smash is, yeah. is actually good. I'm staying in. I'm going to be brave enough to say it right now. Send me my roses in the mail. I mean, you can punish. You can punish something. You can duck it. You can yeah. duck it. Yep. Oops, the first part of that low whiff from Key, but Goshen not ready to do anything about it. And just that last little bit of damage, just kind of smothering the Jack 8. You know, a lot of those. A lot of those key uh, Victor moves, you know, the running to the 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 power crush, even his uh, one plus two, the the fifteen frame counter hit, you know, they can be sidestepped right. But Jack, you know, big boy, not the best of sidesteps in this game, so it could be a little bit risky to go for. Yeah, and I, I the thing is, it's it just constant forward movement from Kyufu, and then when you back it up, very willing to just pull out the gun. Very, very really just pull out the clock. And it, it man, aside from a few key moments, like a, an extremely get good ready, smash in the early battle. part of that game, just not a lot of ability to get momentum started on Boyshin's side. Going to Underground Arena, trying to get these wall blasts into effect. Key of Poo trying to fight back into the middle and he picked the stage, but he's got a work gel, and it's gonna blow it yeah, up. That's the low heat down. smash. Oh, this is the, the follow up, though. Oh, he, my goodness. But Key, once he tastes blood in the water, feels like he only goes forward. And speaking of, that running two gets counter hit. Are we gonna blow this up right away? Yes, we are. Are we gonna end this? Nice. Nice, Ender. That was pretty Oh, oh, not my. letting up the tempo. Is he oh, gonna blow up again? again? Oh, two rounds. We've already blown up three out of the four wall blasts, and now he is on match point. It feels like 30 seconds. Wishing he's got to get something going right now. Trying to use punch pins, but a small sidestep from Key. Oh, there's and a heat! Ah, ah, that armor move is so good. Again, How many walls? You know what? I know we're not ICFC, but blowing up all four heat, you know, all wall, all four wall bursts in one game. Look at the That's... unique intro too. Oh my goodness! Is it pure cinema? <laughs> Shout out to the players for not laughed. Shout out to the players for not skipping the intro. But Claudia, you know. This character, Good punish. Feel you know, like when you're fighting him, you feel like he's the same, but then you start going through the frame data and stuff, and there's a lot of little changes that they did to this character. I think the most right. important one is that 444, that jumping knee is only minus one now, I believe. So it's way easier to keep your pressure up afterward. And on counter hit, you get that four. Guaranteed two. damage, 422 two, yeah. or 43, uh, depending on what you like. Man, it's so crazy how this character has been adjusted in ways that you say like, oh, that's that's significant, I guess. But it really does change the game plan in a lot of different small situations. All right, Great punishing up. on uh, Raccoon's part right now. The one one two coming out exactly when it needs to. Mm -hmm. Getting pushed to back to the wall, but fights his way back. The Demon Paw lands, spins it right away, and then a third one. He really wanted to get him off that balcony. Oh, he oh. Tried to, I, I like the that's I like the attempt. Point. He wanted that little dash to try to push him a little bit towards the wall, trying to optimize, but unfortunately Take dropped it. Too long, but, yeah. but I like the idea. Ooh, the best hop kick in the business. Mm -hmm. So with the running to the tried and true. Get that starburst install on deck. If you guys have not been paying attention since the most recent patch, you can look underneath Claudio's life bar right there. You see that icon that glows when he has starburst in effect. 
gonna be good for me when I see those Claudios and Brian's and stuff that customize their characters so heavily I can't even see the the particles, you know? With the cubes you know on what I'm hands. talking about. Are we gonna go downstairs? Nope. Okay, okay, I did not realize that. If you end it that way, but you spend the laser, it does not break the floor. Yes, it changes the properties of move before. That's pretty crazy. Yep. Breaks the one plus two. Oh, punishes it with the chains. The up forward one gets the free heat engager, and this is looking good for Raccoon right now. We're going downstairs. And he got all that without before his uh, his heat meter even started depleting. Oh, we get on the wall. Beautiful whiff punish. How much that can definitely get off be death. This? That can definitely be death. Oh, oh no! You. What happened? We're trying to weather the storm, but the back one finds its mark. It's a new game, but that back one is still just as effective as it used to be. Excellent confirm. Nice. Action. Gonna pop him up, try to get some pressure here. Backswing blow, and he gets the heat dash off of it, because why not? And lets the laser cannon go, the geyser cannon, and for takes it was real close until that final round, but Raccoon takes the first game with this devil gin. Yeah, it changed it up a little bit. And of course the punishment was always on point. When you've got a character with that kind of 10 frame, anybody with a flash punch, it can really, really affect the match. And the number of times that Raccoon got the flash punch in the first couple rounds. <laughs> You saw sense to actually stop throwing out some of those moves because it's like, well, damn, I'm just going to get hit by it every oh, time. Martin. All right, let me be I careful. Like, I felt like the big momentum swing was when Sensed whiffed that back one on the second level. And normally your Claudio, it's like, oh, I whiffed back one. What can you really do against me? And Raccoon responded with the up forward one, the chains, which managed yeah. to connect from that middle mid screen. And now, I don't know if he was, I don't know if that was just like, you know, like, I'm going to do my move, you're going to do my move, or Raccoon reacted. If that was a reaction, that was an amazing response from Raccoon to that situation. We're going to be charitable and say amazing reaction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! And the punish, of course. Just twitched up, but didn't stay down long enough and still got tagged with the hell sweep. Oh, the legs. Those legs getting freed up a little bit. Oh, and running. we can follow this up. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Catches him out of the backswing below. That back three was four. Nice. Plus. In the nice. Yeah. He was in the corner. Normally, you want to try and sidestep that empowered. That Starburst down one two, but I don't think Raccoon was ready for it. Or even if he did, I don't know if he could. He was kind of stuck in like that weird forty-five degree angle in the deep corner. I don't even know if he could have, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. And the back steps sideways the, 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 the side floor. Got the legs. Catches out the damage. You're gonna spend heat. Oh, oh no! Oh. Raw morning pro he tries the DP and here. <laughs> Nice, you know, single jab to float him out of the air and then makes the adjustments. Clean round from Raccoon. These guys are swinging these rounds back and forth really heavily. Swans nice. Back, punishes. Yeah, nice punish. Yeah, I was definitely looking for that earlier paid the Piper on the last round, but still <laughs> managed to get that punish there. Excellent. Starting to stack up a little bit. Challenges with the flash punch. The crash dash one plus two, a four three. Oh, you're in a bad ah. place. Bro, trying to get something going here. No duck. Running two, chip damage. Oh, another one, one, two response. Try to catch him with the chains, but the back one hits this time. First, trying to keep this run. Stands out the chains right away, but the strain kick from Sense Sonic stuffs out Raccoon's momentum. And the up oh. two the start of the round! Oh, just misses the wall. Good punish! 
since Sagan has had Starburst so many times this round, and he hasn't even gotten the heat until now. Down one, two takes it. One to one, the Claudio versus the Devil Jin. Man, and you got to imagine since Sonic and I mean they're both obviously extremely skilled players, but since Sonic being that that god of destruction up there, very experienced with the character. Every time we've seen a down one two, it's in a situation where the wall is actually kind of playing into the ability to step. On that mm -hmm. one, the wall was behind them in the background, so that you couldn't step to that side. There wasn't a lot of place you could go. And the other time we saw it be a key determining factor was in that sort of 45 degree double wall. So mm -hmm. it's possible that Sense is just like, yep, now is the time, and now is the time, and now is the time. It doesn't seem to be coming out in many opportunities, but it's giving Raccoon the ability to sidestep. All right. Round one. Very good situational awareness from Sensonic with the use of that, you know, Starburst down one two. We'll see if they can get him one more game and move him on to top 48 winners. Uh, Raccoon push stick. him all the way back to the wall. Good whiff punish. Raccoon sticking with the Delogen. Nice little twitch duck on the running two. One, one, two, doing so much work in this round. But forced to pop the heat burst. Nice. nice. Oh! Not a punish, but I'm guessing Sensonic just kind of committed to a low parry or a low block there. Punish on the up two. It's not safe if he doesn't have Starburst. Dash one plus two, trying to control him in the corner here. The chains come out. Morning Crow one plus frames plus frames. Charging it oh up. Gets a oh. clean wall flat. Since Sonic maybe tried to put himself airborne and maybe mess up the situation and did not work out for him. In Hadouken. Raccoon one round away from moving on here. Since Sonic just gonna try and bring back the magic that he had in game two. 4-3-1, 3-2, trying to get that heat coming out. Yo, no break! Oh! Oh my god, we're on the wall again! The down 1-2, nowhere to go! Just get hit! Ooh, round start hop kick. Ooh, punishes the down 4-2. F4-3, trying to get a counter hit go. Nice step on the running two. All of Raccoon's decisions working out right now. And now he's feeling the confidence. Oh, oh he tried oh. to. That would have been a beautiful whiff punish. But Raccoon, when your punishment works out like this, you know, you're, you start getting a little bit oh. confident, a little bit emboldened, but you got to close it out. Oh my goodness, that's big. Oh, no. Not on the combo, though. Where's the damage? Come on. Oh, I was waiting for it the whole time, and he saved it for the very end. Ends it with the DJ Heat Smash. But Damage will never fail you. Damage will never betray you. <laughs> exactly. Damage, it's its the gold standard of fighting games. It's, it's the only metric that matters, life bar, right? So when you've got good damage, you're a winner. Speaking of getting the launch here, gonna get the clean wall splat, and using that down four three plus four, I believe that's the command. To get that Naniwa Gusto install, the next time he gets touched, it's gonna do even more. Very nice, you the, the Daisy custom, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the heat dash and trying to. Jeez, uh, we are just press. swinging. <laughs> yep. And now we're going into EI stance with plus frames. We're spending it. Ooh, didn't quite hit oh, around it. So oh, much oh no, conversion! That sucks. That would have been death. Had the rage and everything queued up, so unfortunate. Yeah, the angle was weird, so the follow-up. Maybe being in the corner messed up the angles on the, the follow-up for King Ray Jr. Oh, but he commits to the high string and gets paid out for it. One change he did make to Asuka, that 2-1, one, 1 plus 2 string, or down with this 2 string. Forget the exact command. You cannot interrupt it anymore. So, if you try to, you will get counter hit. I mean, the heat smash and using that to get that last little bit of damage with the low one to one here. I feel like this is going to be another matchup. Knowing these two guys, this is going to 
I don't care if it goes to game three, we're gonna speed run these matches. Nice. Good block, but no punish. Chip away at Key's life bar. But literally. Ooh, wow, oh, you gotta be joking! You wow. got to be joking! Oh, Oh, he hit him go out of the air for the can can kicks. Oh, I feel like he could have killed right there if he was oh, brave. Oh, the rage art comes out, but the sword oh, comes no. down, comes down heavy on King Ray's head and takes that life bar. Dick, one little thing about rage arts in this game: you do not take less damage when you're absorbing stuff like you did in Tekken Seven. You take full damage in this game. Beautiful duck. Beautiful punish. Can we get to the wall here? Yes, the 442. Yes, we can. We want oh the wall my to wall goodness. here. And you didn't get up in time. Plus two. Man, oh man, this is looking absolutely brutal. Key of Clue just seems to have King Ray Jr.'s number. Have what a beautiful duck on the string. Launched it, was ready. Perfect combo, even did the little slightly tricky route that you need to do the deep 4-4-2 to get the tornado off of. But he got it and that managed him to go wall to wall, got the wall combo on top of it, and then managed to turn that situation into the kill for him. Beautiful game one from Q. Beautiful fun yeah. around there from Q of Poop. Execution on point, decisions on point. All the results just seem to stack up in Kiyofu's favor. So, I mean, I don't think we can see a character change from King Ray, but the ability yeah. to change the level, the stage may be in play here. Yeah, when yes, you get, yes, we're manually picking a stage. Yeah, when you get called out like that on that high string, like King Ray, do that. That's a little bit of a wake up call. It's like, okay, I gotta take this guy. I gotta play a little bit cleaner. Oh. <laughs> Nice block. Okay, it wasn't ready for the, the launch punish that time, but great stuff. A little late on that and no launch punish again. Yeah, King Ray being a, so aggressive that maybe taking Key off this game a little bit. It's like, really? 4-2 right in my face like right that? Right there? In front of my salad? <laughs> and the heat burst. Oh, wow, he got the air. Not that he time, just though. went did it right again. He was just like, you cannot deter me. If it was well, worth doing once, it's worth doing three times. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Down one plus two. All right. Gets the install. Spins it right away for the chip damage. And we use Gusto here. Yep. It. Try to get the oh, monster, but no man. dice. Double, just chipping away. And Key oh, just nice. Slip, Key just slips sliding all over the place here with these manual perfumer transitions, but doesn't get the job done. King Ray gets around on the board here in game two. Nice break. Nice break. No punish because that unfortunately recovers in crouch. And yeah, not the right punish. Ooh, the power crush finds its mark. Ooh, get off me. Ooh, power dump Whoa. kick. We still have a couple more uses of it. Didn't hit with the can cans this time. You see all of that recoverable health on Kiyopu's side. Trying to get it back with these little stray hits. Gonna spend it. Oh! Why? Yeah. Why was that your answer? Why was that your answer? He had enough health to survive it. Bam! Boozled! He, he, he thought Expulsion would take it for him? A little bit of a misplay from Kiyapu there. <laughs> Beautiful combo from King Ray. Gets the Naniwa Gust. Nice! Deck. Good punish! Little bit of side turn there. Does she kill? Yeah. He's gonna spend on the Heat Dash. Not even worry about a wall combo. And. Man, after that, the previous round's misplay from Key. A little bit it of hair stick into a, the eyebrow. It's a very long eyebrow. Yeah, it turned into a dominating round in return from King Ray. That one moment really, I, th I felt like Key of Poo did not mentally recover in that last round. Yeah. 
<laughs> like seriously was a little bit guard broken mentally. Yeah, I guess the only thing was that he could have tried to dodge it if he were like maybe the the up one plus two would have dodged it if King Ray let it go. But you know that he's not going to let it go right away, right away. He wants to charge it. <laughs> and it just kept absorbing it. And then he went just he died for it. That was so sick because it's exactly the time that it would work, right? It's mm -hmm. you, you haven't seen it. This one it's the first time you're doing it. You've been being battle. very aggressive the whole time. Uh, I just I feel like King of Pooh made what they thought was the best decision, but it was more like oh, I gotta do something. <laughs> right, final game Ortiz farm. Oh, King Ray responding with a power crush of his own. All right, he nice used punch. up. Heat used up from King. The back one going underneath the highs like it's so good at doing. Counter hits the power crush, calls it out this time, but immediate spring kick, and nice. this time punish. he punished. He was not punished. You know, it wasn't launch punished him in the previous game. That might have led to his downfall. He's corrected that in this final game. Ooh. Dunker down. No break on the one plus two. They fix the throws now. You got no one to blame but yourself. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm invisible. And another one plus two. Ooh, whips. <laughs> punishes with the heat burst. Spends it right away to try to force the plus five situation. And he, really fast, made the mental adjustments, and he's on set point. Let's wait. Trade on the power crush. <laughs> Ooh, running tackle? Just tank the, dun the gunshot, I like that. Alright, alright, we're still alive. We're still alive in this one. King Ray fighting back. We're in round four. King Ray doing the pan in it. I'm gonna whiff heat first cancel in your face and then immediately heat smash to make you feel dumb. Back three, no punish. Spensing double, just wanting to chip out that life bar. Nice punish. Ooh, oh, oh and we get unlockable. to convert. Yeah, he just lets go after two spins. Is this gonna hit? Yes, it still does. Oh, that, oh, that was so close. Back oh, he does it. Nice. Can we kill him? Yes, we can. Blah. The ground just like that. Last him. round. God, this is so fast. Oops. Why are you throwing? Again with the I got out. back three. Oh, almost, almost just not the wall. Enough. The break, the break. That's block. Oh my gosh, the block. He has not had a chance to spend his heat yet. Are we going to see a power crush? Oh, 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 oh. oh no. Did you what? push a button? You did not push a button. You won. Oh. Bet it all on the rage art. I guess he was expecting King Ray to press a button, and unfortunately, it didn't work out. We've got Inca from Florida, Yoshimitsu player, if I remember correctly, beating regular size Majin, who had just beaten a Shadow to make it in the top 48. So we still got okay. some surprises going on. Which oh, Tommy tried to down four three times in a row. That's pretty. Okay. Okay, just chill, bro. Chill. We're gonna break it? Yes, we are. Gonna go back into mid screen. Oh, heat burst. Into electric. Nice. Nice, block. good punish. And good punish from Tone. Oh, no ooh, break on the two. Break. Oh, oh, beautiful. Went, committed. Wanted to hit him with a low. Committed to one that had a string. Tone punished a little bit too fast and got beat out for it. That's definitely one of those ways you'd like. I know you uh, You might block low, and I got a backup plan. Up in heat. What can we do here? Just a regular. Oh, baby. Four. Can we get to the wall here? You're Brian, so probably yes. Oh, no, just the whip, the last part. Letting the second hit rip. 
and still in heat, so you still had a, another stock of snake eyes ready to go to finish them off. People are just starting to talk about that as a 13 frame Punisher. I'm pretty excited about that because it's pretty crap. <laughs> yeah, even without, even without uh, snake eyes, you know, just the three hits into the knee is very effective as well. Nice, tell you. Ooh, counter hit. Catch it. Double low takes it. Tone one round away from winning game one here. Oh, jeez. The margins on these whips are very big. <laughs> and again, the one, two, four works. Another hatchet. Nice hatches coming out. What are we going to spend the rest of this heat meter on, Tony? Tommy. Pop in the heat first. One, two, four. Push towards the wall. You see back one. Tommy trying to get some space. Ah, he's finally nice. afraid. Yeah, yep, yep. Beautiful. Oh, 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 right when it counts. And we get the burst. Pop, he's going to be pop. dead, dead. <laughs> I do find it funny that you cannot die from an interaction. You have to tap oh, them yeah. one more time. <laughs> you will always survive a stage hazard with at least one health remaining. Just to get that sick jab finish in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, to okay. Goes for the health sweep and the follow-up. Nice punish. Yeah, Tommy is not... Not super into um, predictably ducking. Sort of ducking when the string is on point and knows it. Um, but Tone's actually been getting the lows and the plus on block highs a lot just because of the fact that Tommy does not favor, you know, duck as a prediction. Mm -hmm. Some people are just, you know, they're afraid to duck, which is understandable in this game. But the, there's certain situations when you're about to die, sometimes you gotta, you gotta be able to duck. Uh, it's gonna come down to in one last interaction. Oh, right finally there. he ducks! And when it right was when gonna it kill, he was less like, okay, this is the one I duck. The only one that matters is the one that might kill me. Ooh, yeah, exactly. It was almost like, uh, no matter what hits me, I'm gonna die, so I'm gonna bet on the old hatchet. Man, I very hope. close game. Uh, just a bit of a dueling play styles thing. I, I like that. Um, I mean, Tone used one, two, four a lot, both on block, um, heat dash situations, uh, counter hits into heat engager, a lot of one, two, fours. And again, that just speaks to how often Tommy was staying standing. Yeah, you know, the, the Brian players, a lot of them are just like, oh, he's not good, his heat's not great. And maybe they're right, but you know, one card, one rule of fighting games is like, you pick the character at the character select screen, you kind of, <laughs> you can't complain anymore. You Major know? bad, yeah. Like, but, ah, oh, you didn't get, he didn't dash in enough. One, two, four again, like you said, beautiful parry on the down three from Tommy. Keeping himself alive, gonna spend the heat first. Oh, he could have no. launched that one. Spring kicks in this game are way more punishable than they were in Tekken 7. And I'm sure it's a thing that a lot of us are still getting used to. Oh! Catch it. Double low. Oh! Have to kill. Low into low, but the duck jab beats it out. Fight. Tone taking the first game, first round of game two. Oh! Guaranteed. Let's get engaged. Let's go. I accept. We will live happily. Punish. Nice step on the, the, the three plus four, but again, Tone beating up those legs with the hatchet kick. He just has to remember how the last, the end of the last game went. He's good punish. Oh, get out of here. Oh, but too late. Too late. I would say I punish with throw, but I try to do that at TNS and my Rager came out somehow, so. Nice block! That time you're not gonna get oh! oh! Alright. What we're learning here, Kai, is that you can go low on Tommy 90% of the time, unless he's on his last 10% of his life bar. 
Oh man, the too late taunt jet. Uh, the too late jet upper there just not getting the punish. That was crazy. Gonna kick okay. himself after this one. Oh, tried to take out the wedge driver. The Requiem, trying to get into heat somehow. Beautiful. Excellent. Still hasn't gotten into heat yet, still has one use of Snake Eyes on deck. And what? you've done that before! He was willing to take a chance and say, I bet you'll do it again. Nice, oh. of course, the classic Brian round ender. Just flop, just flop. Mm -hmm. All right, Tone, in the lead this time, in this game. And Punish it's it, really, nice. It's really surprising how consistent Tommy is with his blocking behavior. Oh man, oh man. Requiem again gets blocked. They made it safe in this game, so safe to engage it for Brian. Oh, that's a wrap. He tagged the outstretched hurt box of the, the Jin DF2, and that's always a feel bad when it's like, it wouldn't have hit me if I didn't do anything, but I whipped a right. button and I got tagged, if I man. If I just stood there and did nothing, I would have been fine, but I yeah. risked it. I risked it all, and Orbital always comes through in the end. All right, so now we got one to one. Tone going to Yakushima, that big stage. No dumb wall blasts to lose the game to, and it worked out for him. But has he picked up on Tommy's low blocking habits yet? I feel like that's the big story of the set. It, it's okay. so interesting because Tommy is basically saying, until I mathematically need to, I'm gonna stand, right? Mm -hmm. In almost every case, and then the punishment situations that you're getting from choosing a block is only like a wall standing four, you know, something like that, where the four four came into play multiple times, where it's just is like, it's not a lot of benefit from doing it, and yet you're, it's stacking up on you. It's the only thing really holding him back from getting that life lead and keeping and capitalizing on it is that the lows just keep coming, or the highs that you can't punish. Mm -hmm. Nice. Who spends heat burst right away, and then spends the heat dash right away, just trying to keep the the foot on the gas pedal, but loses the wall positioning. Ah, misses the taunt. Counter hit throw, slamming him down. Counter Ooh, hit down two. We haven't seen that down two come out since the uh, I think since the first game when it got punished. Yeah, it did get punished. That was the problem. <laughs> He's been scared of it this whole time. Nice. Oh, get off and you're done. Oh, this is a, this game oh, is looking some kind of way right now. This is not good for Tone. Requiem finally hits there from Brian. Hatcher kick again. Challenges with the hop kick. Tone kind of just like stood there for a second. And we're going to uh, Explodey Wall. We follow up. We got a block. Breaks the two. That's all put in. He's trying to again put his foot on the gas pedal, but this is yeah, with the hop kick challenge. We don't block low, we'll just hop kick the lows. Does it matter? <laughs> Blocking low is for cowards. We lows stand don't work. and we yeah, hop kick in this lows house. Lows don't work if you're invincible to anymore. So sad, Yoshi players. He's totally unplayable now, apparently. You know. <laughs> it is kind of weird though, because it felt like he was the only character that got like a real like nerf that wasn't considered like a like a bug fix. Right, or it wasn't a bug fix. Exactly. Behavior. He just got real numerical nerfs. <laughs> so. The, like the no sword flash, doing less damage, recovering less health, taking more heat meter than it did previously. So I can tell, I can understand that Yoshimitsu Pro is being like the, the 50 cent meme, like, why F me for? Or like, it's <laughs> right, just like. Right. Why, are you, why are you saying F me? <laughs> and that's, I was okay with the damage, I was okay with the heat. Honestly, it was the, the hitbox that was a little bit egregious. Excellent heat smash at the end, looking very strong, healing. 2-2 into no sword, spending it right away. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is getting a little wacky. I told y'all it was going to be wacky, this one. Break on the waning moon. Side step one, break on the two, on the one throw. Oh, oh, oh Ooh. That is such a classic. I get hit by that quite regularly from my Yoshi playing friends. I say friends, but I, I can't stand when they do that to me. 
Not just how are you gonna be plus in, seventeen in that, and just go into full crouch and do that to me? In that in that one moment, they're not your friends. The right. moments before and after, they are. But the punch from peeling. All right, we spent the one spiking to the floor. The next one. Go we'll down. Go downstairs. Yes, there we go. Little wacky combo. Breaking the waning moon again. Chipping down. That's punishable, yep. Oh, I would have ducked there thinking that the leg was coming. Yeah. Six stab him. I have nothing left to live for, but neither do you. Bringing out the suicides early in the set. He first. We're gonna get to the wall. Ling's gonna do a lot of damage. Oh no! Misjudged the angle, but again, doesn't break the two throw. The neck breaker breaking the floor. Give him peeling another chance. Picking away at it. Spending the keepers. Hypnotist. Low. That that mix it. is actually evil. Yep. That hypnotist mix after he smashes is it's wrong. You either got a stand block or low parry. Ooh. Just, ooh, wasn't, wasn't fast Very enough wacky. I, I did not, I don't. I have no idea that missed. I guess it was just a frame late. Three, double. Oh, of course you three. couldn't hit her. Yep. No, oh, that was, that was right, you know, messed I'll give up. It, I'll give it up. That was legitimately tricky. That was messed up. You're in the you desert. Win. How are you that moist? They were sweating, man. I mean, if you're, if you're in a desert and somebody's mind, does it really affect you? That's, you know what? You make an excellent point. You're just like Ling right now, and just like, especially if you're Ling, you're like, Jim, why is the inside of your brain all messed up, bro? That's like, not even real here? perspiration. I, damn, yeah. I got mixed by the, the non-reality that is uh, Jin coming to grips with his past. Oh, sorry, spoilers. Play that story mode, it's actually pretty good. All right, let's see how we're getting some adjustment. Okay, so we had we had something that kind of doesn't continue to work, and that is a seppuku kill. Uh, you know, you might get lucky again on that one, but it was kind of your that was kind of your trump card you you played there, and you, you might not get another opportunity to do it. So not taking the game while uh, expending that trick is sort of going to cost you. But hopefully, Inca is aware now of the one plus two throw breaks that need to be occurring, right? Well, at least now, if he doesn't break the, the two throws, they won't send him to the floor. See how that goes. Nice. Spin away from Firecracker. Couldn't float it properly for a full juggle, but we take what we can get. Inka trying to mix up the 3-1 the into Dragonfly and the 3-2, like right there. No brick this time on the winning move, though. That is unfortunate. We were just talking about the fact that we've seen that through a multiple time. Oh, the hunt! Into the hop! Oh, you got to be <laughs> You are a foolish fool. No sane person would do that. Oh! And, and you oh. pushed the button. That should have just been punished. Yeah, mid-mid. Maybe he was still ready, like, thinking about the Tekken, side, Tekken 7 version of that move, which is mid-high. Oh, just avoids the mist. Oh my god. Yoshi Mixer just can't hit P. Inka just cannot hit Peeling right now. Oh my god, we're going all the way. Oh. Oh. Two. And it is just slipping away for Inka, King of Yoshimitsu right now. Oh, and just, just dancing right now. And we're going all the way. Okay, now we're gonna get the real combo. Boom! Up back four. Oh three. no! In the mix, hypnotist. You're still in the mix. Okay, the flash makes something happen. We get some life back. Dragonfly. All right, one all right, all right. That. We've evened up the life bars. We don't have to worry about Link oh. hitting hit anymore. But we got counter hit. Are we gonna reach the wall? No. Ah, unfortunate, but. Good stuff to peeling right there. Like I, I, I literally can't wait. I'm, I'm vibrating. All right, we're getting to game one here. Triple A with the Shaheen versus 
Joe crushes Jack 8. Immediate low parry on the down back ones. We're gonna push towards the wall. Not quite getting the clean wall splat, but you see Triple A immediately sidewalking right to keep Joe Crush near the wall. Just as possible. Mm -hmm. Doesn't and break the throw. Not quite dead yet though. Just get him on the ground, yeah. Just do it. Alright, not quite able to roll out. Gonna get the momentum started here soon. Mm, not quite the right punish there in the Jack DF2. Breaks the throw this time. Sidestep two. Nice interrupts. I like Triple A. Oh, one, thing I'm already, one thing I'm already noticing from Triple A that I like, he's varying directions that he's sidestepping to. Jack has options for either direction, but they're different. If you keep the side, you keep changing which way you step to, he's gotta make a guess which way you're gonna step and which button he has to use. I, I love that button, right? I love the plus five with the four, but I just, it, it doesn't seem to yield a lot of results right now. It is decent chip damage, but like you see, yeah, you were right, Triple A willing to block it out. Wow! Man, oh man! Combo choices. He's using everything as well as possible. The only thing right. I can say better is that if he was doing like the real hard combos, but I can't do that shit, so. Right. so like, exactly. The ones that involve like. Fight back from a two down loss. Uh, Joe's gonna do his best. Oh! Oh my goodness, you ran right into it! Clean wall splat, gonna use the heat burst just in case. Now we're gonna set up the unblockable. Yes, we are. Huge frame advantage into the heat smash to take it. That unblockable is uniquely a charge move in this game. You hold down and then press up and two, kind of like a Guile Flash Kick in Street Fighter. And just like a 2D game, you can charge that move while you're in the middle of recovering from a previous move. So he was charging that um, he was charging that guard break while the last hit of his wall combo was finishing up and just letting it, basically letting it rip once he recovered himself. And it's that kind of stuff that makes Shaheen really scary to deal with in this game. Because that same frame, you gotta guess basically between the high unblockable and his full crouch down forward two, which also would have wall splatted right there. So I, I can we, just, I already know exactly what's happening in the Shaheen Discord. They're just, he needs it. Nope, he definitely needs that. <laughs> As you said, I mean, you explained it perfectly. That is an incredibly powerful Get setup. That move is battle. usable in so many different situations. It's, uh, you do not want to eat that. You just don't. It's not good for you. Again, great punish right there with the forward two, three from triple A. The slice of two. The only thing I really haven't seen him use too much is the uh, the full the full crouch low from Shaheen. Another way of getting into that. Oh, oh, guard break. I like the baiting of the slide, but not committing to anything. Breaks the two throw. Man, Triple A is just on fire right now. Slidey. One more. I like nice. both guys. I got. I, I like both of them. Just like. All right, we're just gonna stare at each other. This is like Chilly. a zero sun game. Right. If you played Joe, you know I'm not gonna do the high. Yeah. If you're if if you're played Joe, you know better than try to challenge him on that situation. Oh man, the fact that that was not a punish is crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta know that. That's unfortunate. That mix is you know pretty fraudulent just because there's only one throw from the stance, so you always know what you gotta do. It's a little bit like the Ling one, except a little bit easier. Step. Down that lows only those lows that he has are only minus fourteen. Like all triple A right now, spending oh. the heat smash to try to recover some life, but it doesn't matter. It's the running two comes in, and it's a little it's gonna have a little asterisk next to it. But triple A about to six zero Joe Crush to make winner side top eight if Joe doesn't do something here. All right, that's something. All right, and we are we on an exploding wall. Not quite. Oh, you're oh, done. He gets clipped with the power crush, and that's gonna do something to help stop the bleeding for Joe Crush. He needs two He's more. Launching though. that wound a little bit. Nice. Trying to get through that power crush, but eventually gets low parried. 
Putting the heat burst. Trying to get to the wall of last heat. Never see the full crouch mid. No break. Lots of good breaks. Jeez. Sorry, right does break. My apologies. Runs into the hop kick. Spend Put him on the wall. The yes. Yes. Oh, oh no! Combo. No combo. Uh, it doesn't know what to do to get this. Get the wall splash. <laughs> the power crush doesn't get a clean wall spot and it didn't blow up the wall blast either but that doesn't matter joe crush another round on the board is he finally waking up did the robot reboot oh, oh, oh. Back one, the head. A four, two, four, one. Oh, uh, I, I, I don't know i would have just slid or something i don't know man <laughs> it's <just> like <laughs> Clean Not back. quite the wall. Triple A trying to block it out here. Sliding. Oh, jeez. Wow. Yeah, 10 frame. No! No way! No way! Check. He was not on the right angle. That wasn't. Back. Run the tape back. Run the tape back. Joe installed mods while he was gone. That is impossible. The angle doesn't make sense. Where the did geometry he from? <laughs> the geometry. <laughs> what? That was a one in a million situation. And you know Joe's the kind of guy I'll tell you, like, yeah, that, I knew that was going to work. <laughs> he would say that too. Yeah, yeah. What are, you, what are you talking about? Like, it was clear. It was always going to work. <laughs> Jeez, what a comeback from Joe Crush. About to be 6 0 and making a three round comeback to bring him to this final game here. That and was. Great. Once Joe got going, it looked like, I don't know, Triple A had been looking so strong right there, but then those last three rounds, especially the last two, he started looking like maybe a little hesitant to try and pull the trigger to make that, get that last round that he needed. He's got to try and get some of that confidence that got him to that five round streak again. I just cannot believe that that exploded the wall. I thought for sure that that was uh, parallel, not perpendicular. Mm -hmm. I guess it doesn't matter. The game was like, whatever, he touched the wall, something blew up, so we gotta blow up too. It's like a chain explosion. Jeez, what's one more for the explosion pile? All right, taking a, a moment to compose oneself, I suppose. Triple A is ready, Joe Crush is not. <clears throat> well, I mean, hey, let's let's dig into that last game and why it was so different for those last three rounds. It sort of just kind of exploded on them, and the wall definitely played a big part in that. The comeback mechanic that is those exploding walls uh, playing a big factor. But geez, oh Pete, that was such an extreme turnaround. I feel like it all turned around in that third round when Joe got that po high power crush that knocked. Triple A sideways into the wall blast. At that, I felt like after that point, it was all Joe. But we're bringing it to a different wall gimmick stage. Is it the subconscious? Let's see if we'll break some floors here. Oh, the oh. hop kick. If it is simple, another gets around. On the board, Triple A. Oh, Joe with the check ducks now. Maybe he's getting a, a handle on Triple A's timing. Sliding under the power crush to switch the wall situation. Side step two into the nice. big boot, though. Oh, he caught him looking. We're gonna do the one-one, the Joe special. No, we're doing. We just want to kill. Okay. Just get the kill. Bring in that forward two a lot right now. The damage for Shaheen. Oh, the, going for the regular version of the Ashtar. Grab some out of the power crush so it's guaranteed. All right, one more wall right now. You, these guys are gonna throw hell crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they're gonna throw like crazy now oh, because geez, they don't want to be want the it one. So bad. They don't want to be the one that go through the floor. Counter hit, but oh. it was too far. But 
go a little bit too slow on the while standing one pun with punish. And now AAA again, one round away from moving on to winner's side top eight. Still has to break it now, right? Yes. Nice. And push forward, not quite towards the next wall, but he's gonna get the wall. Oh, jeez. Oh, my, no, no way. He hopped too? The slide put him airborne just long enough to not get wall bro uh, hit by the quake. Okay, the scaling's not great, but he can still... Yeah, unfortunately, he didn't have enough of that. Yet. Oh, what? The no, you're joking. And he drops no. it! Triple A, this is getting sloppy. One last hit for Joe, running two. Oh no! What? Running two, duck jab. Duck jab again! Ah! He trained! No way! <laughs> oh, double, man. K, double KO, but Triple A had two rounds, so he's the one with the win here. He's winning in high pressure situations. Got that Nest DLC, loving it. King Ray Jr. definitely is in his, is an aesthetics focused player. Always on point with these customs, got to say. That sometimes fashion is the most important thing. Just Andy not, just Andy not looking like a slouch either. Oh, Take a break. Oh jeez, power up. Can we get them red muscles. Ooh, oh, what a whip punish! That's enough. That's enough. He came fire. You didn't even have to make it that fancy. You could have just done three ring circus and ended it real easy. But King Ray Jr. has to play to the fans. Another whips the second running to it. Doesn't break the giant swing, girl. You're going in this wall. Eat the seventy damage. Oh! Alright, power's up. Spends it right away, but just any stayed down. Late his wake up. Hard is in. Breaks hey, it this time. Finally! Finally! Alright, we're in. Oh no! Right. We're out! Get off. The, mm, King Ray with the power crush, yeah, get me off. King Ray does like to favor that power crush a lot, but against somebody like King, you know, one bad throw. You turn around for you. Big C unblockable. Oh, get on the get wall. On the wall. Barrage. Nice choice of King Ray Jr. rolling forward because of the angle. It actually got him away from the wall. Uh, breaking throws. Spin that Naniwa. Oh! That's three of six. All right, two to one in rounds here. No surprise, this is being really competitive back and forth. Like you mentioned earlier, Kai, both these guys, TNS Online champions. Yo, the punish was sick. Okay, we power out with Gusto. When are we gonna spend it? Right now. Yeah. Get the launch, no dice. And now we go into heat burst. He's on the heat mode. So we always have it available. Spend heat smash right away. King Ray Jr. trying to smother oh, Sandy. Perfect. Nice break on the giant swing. Perfect. That running three hitting perfectly, Kai. Coming out so fast at just the right moment. That that could have gone any better for King Ray in the, in the corner there. That heat smash into all those frames and leading into that final little trade there. It's a... Uh, it's all coming up Millhouse there on King Ray Jr.'s side. Uh, Jusani, unfortunately, not able to do a lot to uh, stem the tide there. I, I, I gotta say, this is um, perhaps not what I was expecting from this first game. Obviously, two skilled players, but I, it was um, it was more uneven than I thought. And these guys quickly getting this stage pick and going into game two. Whoa! Who gets... Hold that, super late. Running three, sidestep two in return, pushing towards the wall. This is 
right? Oh, but no! The run, up, the run up giant swing! Ugh. How many times? Too many times? I'll let you know. Not dead yet. Spence Heat Smash. Boom. Not punishable. Pun nice block on the low. Okay, so, yeah, the, the, the down two is getting a little bit loose and fancy free, perhaps a little too often. Oh, oh that was nice. Hi, this kid is 18 years old. You're not as bad. You can't tell him what to do. <laughs> Just so. He said, look, I'm a grown man. If he wants to low and potentially die for it, yeah, you're just right. He's a grown man. It's his choice. He smash. Mix up. Goes for the RKO. Oh. Look for a burst. Oh, just gonna get the launch! That was so good. And the weird wall! Half white. I was gonna yes. say, yeah, just gotta spend it going to plus. That was unfortunate. <laughs> the jab hit so late. And I don't know if King Ray, I'm assuming King Ray held it for a little bit and tried to confirm that he like absorbed something, but the jab was just too fast for that situation. I feel like if he had just let it go right away, it might have worked. If he let it go right away, it might have worked. Say, yeah, yeah, it might have worked. Tao, nice, get him on the ground. Oh no, the down two again, just getting stepped this time, not even blocked. That's a leg drop. That is a lot of damage for armor. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and choose right through the armor. That is a 3 0 game. Just Sandy answering right back and saying, hey, you want to talk about one sided? I got you. I got yeah. you. Yeah. We were looking at, uh, I looked up from the animation, uh, King Ray Jr. was trying to heat burst. But we talked about it earlier. Heat Smash goes through Power Crush armor, which is what yeah. heat burst is. So just. Simple math in that situation, and now we are one apiece in this match going on. Oh, this is loser's side, I believe. Is this? No, am I crazy? I'm crazy. Top 40 winners, yeah, we're- It's winner's side, I'm crazy, yes. Yeah. So, so this is the last one to get into winner's side top eight. It's just as you said, there's no special properties to a heat burst. It just does the animation in a way that it's very unlikely to be interrupted, but it has all the same properties as if you'd done a normal heat move, right? It can be knocked out with a low, it can be traded, it can even be thrown if the framing is right, right? So, you know, you get heat smashed, your burst loses. Your burst just loses. Yeah, the part of heat burst that gets people off is that, um... It, it's 15 frames for the zoom in, and then one frame after that for the hit. So it's actually it's pretty hard to stuff out. If you hear if you see the zoom in, basically it's only going to be luck if you right. manage to beat it out or trade it's, it. Out yeah, it's pure luck and just timing based on you know when it was going to happen. But yeah, it's right, it's pretty gotta... interesting to see that get just absolutely obliterated by another. <laughs> we've, we've seen this Oscar custom before at TNS. Velma Jinkies, time to rage art. Plus three, get you out of my face. Down two, heat first, go for Oh, the there it works. One more hit. Nice. Ooh, beautiful. Hit confirm. If you're a king main, you hit that forward two, the first and the down one. You have an eternity to hit confirm the last hit. And just Sandy making it pay off in spades. But King Ray fighting back. Oh, oh, oh unblockable. You made the piper. You watched it. You watched it and you let it happen. King Ray faked it a couple of times in the first game, so maybe just saying he was just like, oh, he'll just end it early this time. But oh, this time. Oh, downtown. Pedigree. <laughs> and for King Ray Jr., it's time to play the game. But he first in return and sidestep twos oh. away from the heat smash. They said it couldn't be done. They said you couldn't accept the heat smash, but you could sidestep to it. Right, this is getting kind of uh this is getting kind of crazy right now. Boom boom, sidewalk two, yeah. Sick and blue sparks on top of it. Oh nice, nice punish. punish. Yeah, 15 frame will do it. Oh, we want something fancy here, huh? Oh, Jeez, I'm just gonna do it. <clears throat> That's gonna go through. Yeah, the first hit is not where the damage is, so you're gonna live. You mentioned earlier as well, Rage Art's the only thing that can armor through a heat smash. And that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. 
He tried to run up and heat first. He's doing it again. And I've got heat left. Oh, you're on the wall. Oh, that was sick. Man, oh man, King Ray with the 3-0 firing right back. Man, the difference a few rounds can make. That was absolute brutalization right there. King Ray Jr. coming out on top, just what to do thing. It's just, honestly, AAA is playing super, super clean. Yeah, so let's see how he deals with Jake Man's King. Tries to sidewalk, it's clipped with the forward three to DDT. Beats out the armor with two hits of while sending 3-3. Tries to go for the hop kick, gets punished for it. Jake Man uses heat first, running at him. Yep, nice. Heat smash. Big, po big power bomb comes down. Round one for Jake Man. Ooh, Just this. poking him out of all this stuff. Oh my goodness gracious. Losing the heat while standing one gets hit. Sly hunts Mark. Nice <laughs> low challenge, yeah. Everyone's like, hey, he's running at you. You can lower, you can throw him. Triple A's like, bet. Oh, oh the fact slow. that that wasn't a punish. Again, I'm just, uh, I'm incredulous. You I better am, tech I'm beside dish. myself. The meme, the meme run. Revert that. Revert that now. <laughs> he points at me. He wants to fight me. And you're going to let him be a coward and buck abort the mission? I can't I think believe that's, this. I, I think that's bad design. That's, that's, that's cowardice. <laughs> Full crash load, uh, mid gets blocked. I think he's two, one, two, three punishes. And the full crutch low comes out and AAA gets around on the board here in game one. Slide, that's a fast slide too. Finally gets the punish. And the optimal combo off float, very nice. The wall standing four. Good, uh, good 20, 25% for blocking the slide. Challenge with the DF2. What are we gonna do here? Okay, go for Oki. Threaten the slide, hop kick. Oh, you're gonna hop kick a hop kick? Nice block, and this all right, time we all right, finally all right. hit pay dirt with our wall standing two. Those wall standing twos just were not landing ever and finally got one, you're right. I just gotta do them faster. Oh, pulled you out of the air this time. Damage, running three for the pressure. Only plus three, so you trade with the DF2. With the crouch tap, not, not a scary idea. There's the right punish. Very nice, good throw break, geez. Ooh, the heat version. Just blows him up. Oh, the trigger gets punished. There's heat, yeah, kick him off the floor. Oh, nowhere to go. Ah, uh, yeah. Just trying to backdash and block low in case alley kick came out or a throw, but just the multiple DF1s getting the job done, but very close game one there. Triple A it was really like close to this funny because yeah. they were just playing Tekken out in the open. Jeez, where everybody could see it in decent. Yeah. That round, that, that stage really had no wall game to speak of because it's it's our functional infinite as it were right but it's just funny that they were just forced to play straight up in each other's faces and it was that close it was that close based on the fact that there was there was nowhere to push anyone to just mm -hmm. rotating just stepping just playing a 3d game uh i was honestly tense that entire time because right. i would have uh battle. got impatient so many of those times when nothing was happening all right that's it's the space in between the space right <laughs> Right, Triple A choosing to stay here on Yakushima. Not the worst choice. You don't gotta worry about getting like giant swung into a wall or something. But Jake Man spinning the heat smash right away, trying to keep the pressure on. Muscle Buster gets broken. 
triple A. Finally, getting something to hit this round. Full crouch low. Nice duck. Oh, a little too far for the punish. Oh man, that's so the sad. The spacing was sad. Yeah, that was that. It feels like it should have worked, but it did yeah. not work. Jeez. I get these counter hit while sending ones to hit, but no dice. Giant swing finds its mark. Are we gonna tech roll. Yes, we are. Oh, finally, he said, get off me with those muscles. I'm getting you below. Oh, the parry. the parry! Just ends it with a pure, almost completely unscaled burning power bomb. Wow. Man, oh man, backdash while standing four, just kind of a nice get. Stay away from me. I only need a little bit of life. Yeah, Jake, man, doing a good job of just kind of being like this wall. And just kind of waiting for his opportunities. Getting a lot of clutch blocks in this game compared to game one. Especially on the lows. On it. Got clipped Play. by Dawn 4 too. Might have been, you know, getting that armor ready to go and just got hit mm -hmm. in the frames before it activated. Oh, nice. hit in between the string. Tried to go with that down option to maybe get a launch, but uh, just gets interrupted. Slides find the mark. Oh, just backdashes out of the full crouch mid. Oh, 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 oh. Sitting on a lot of heat here. Break. Nice break. Man, breaking the breaking. Nice combo, and that's a counter hit launcher that uh, King really enjoys having. <laughs> In a game where they took out most of him, he still gets his 13 frame hit counter hit launch. I like spending the heat burst before finishing the combo because he hasn't really had a lot of opportunities to go into heat this set. Like not really whip punishing with the 4-2-1 and such, so trying to force the situation at the end. Didn't work out, but I like the reasoning. But Triple A fighting back and bringing it once again to a final round. All right, Mexican. all right. Oh, jeez. And uh, the wall, the wall factor is coming into play here. Just cannot get a button in there. And ends it with a perfect Jake, man. Two to zero in this top eight winners. Man, I mean, you called it so early. They're appealing, trying to dance around him with the Xiaoyu. These are some nice customs, too. These are, these are tasteful. We have some color coordination, too. Ooh, a big counter hit right from the start for Peeling. Yeah. And now, one, two, three. Into Hypnotist Mix. Nice block. And, that, and that's from King just Ryan. the fact that that is so unpunishable as a homing blow is is sometimes feels like, oh man, you got you have to low, You have to low parry it, yeah. at least the way it is now. Oh man, I got one of those too. Flippy kicks. Ooh, counter hit. Oh. Lucky counter hit on the full crouch low for King Ray, and he manages to win that round when it started off looking really bad for him. Oh, get off me. We love those. <laughs> I love when that move misses 4 4 1. She literally recoils for like 80 frames. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's putting her all into that move. So it makes sense that she'd lose her balance. Nice. And with the engager being the way it did, the uh, heat dash, we can get this to the wall. Nice. Oh no, weird little side turn situation. Oh no. Can Peeling make something happen though? No. All right, no, all right, all right. All right. We recovered that one. We got, that was scary. That was scary. The low hit, but Peeling manages to tech roll away from the wall, spends the heat burst, sends it right back, but AOP makes it whiff. Peeling trying to control the wall, but you see King Ray Jr. moving out to the middle of the stage, lets the rest of the string that whiff. Is, that that string is I, I love strings like that. It's the hypothetically steppable. <laughs> 
I'm trying to get something going here. Kankins doesn't counter hits. Bends the install. Trying to get a launcher oh. in. Two throw finds the mark. Kingway Jr. takes game one here. Looks Man, like I love that throw. It's brutal. It's it's literally you you face scraped him. That's yeah. uh, that's awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so the small stage, um, I mean, definitely working in, in favor. The, the evasiveness that I think Peeling may have wanted to employ is not super possible in a stage that's only 24 units in an octagon, right? It's it's pretty pretty condensed, pretty small area. And King Ray, I think, really utilized that space a lot better. We're going to see if if perhaps Peeling feels the same way, picks a larger stage or a stage that they like more, or if we're just going to keep it the same and let it rock random, or perhaps even just pick the same one if you want to run it back. I think. King Ray just honestly didn't let Peeling get away with much, right? It, it seems to be extremely solid, conscious decisions about which buttons to push and when, right? Stuff you'd expect from King Ray, but still, anytime you have a Ling on screen, it can get a little scary. Yeah, King Ray has been really good at just making, creating situations where he can force Peeling to basically guess his mix-ups. Like, you know, the down twos have been landing, He's been getting some key counter hit stuff. And this slightly bigger stage up here, and then you get the balcony break, the wall break, and then the, the wall blasts downstairs, the wall bounce. We'll see if it works out for Peeling here. Nice into that. Yep, and of course, oh, you get a wall standing for it. Congratulations for defending. King <laughs> Ray, one last chance. Gonna try and spend this heat, heat smash. Again? Ooh, the oh, second hit of Kankin! Oh. <laughs> no! No! no. <laughs> I just shrieked! I shrieked! The punch saw the key on the second hit. The slowdown happened. He saw the first part come out and he did the Sava key and I didn't know if it was going to work or not and it worked out for him. Oh, what a call out for King Ray. Now he's going to break this balcony. How are we going to end this combo? Oh, not quite too many hits yet. Oh, Ooh. my God. The strikes. Breaks the throw. Oh. Yeah, minus nine, but she's back turned. So she can parry frame one. Honestly, something like a hop kick would have worked there pretty well. Or even Kankans. Okay, weather's a storm. King Ray Jr. still has one more use of the Naniwa Gusto. Gonna Thinks spend on the gonna push. Oh, went into AOP! There's nowhere for you to go! He held Running it out of just time, a, though. Yeah, he held it just a little bit and allowed it to realign. Oh, I love it. I love the low hitting homing mid to just say, you know what, you, there's nowhere for you to go. Break the floor. Yes, we are. We still have a used tornado. There's yet. Yeah, Snuka Tornado. Oh man, that was pretty good. That's as good as you could have done in the circumstance. I like that. Oh, rotating around these walls. Look at it, you're kind of funny. Nice walk around oh. the heat oh. smash. You can get all the way to the other wall. You can get all the way to the other wall, and you get a rage art after the whole combo. Save it. He's spending all of his heat resources instead. Oh no! He held it! He held it! He's a genius! He's a goddamn genius! Put this kid in school! Send him to Cornell! Send him to Harvard! Oh my god, what a brain genius, bro! Don't get too comfortable though, Yoshimetsu, okay? You're here on our on your own recognizance, right? We can send you back anytime. I really like the, the kind of like the renewed focus on no sword stance, having the empowered moves when the sword is put away. And him having a couple of his uh, Soul Calibur Ooh. versions of the moves, but Ooh, the octopus stretch slam. Octopus okay. on octopus violence. Oh, <laughs> this bin is not carrying Inca out of danger. Yeah, just standing has shown twice now. How he can just follow him. Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. The classic. Oh, whoa, that was awesome. That's punishable. Oh, no way! Now, he only did three hits. If you just do three hits of the string, it's not punishable, I believe. If you commit to the hey, full screen, right. it's punishable. You're right. I got caught in the spin. The spin of ruse. Yeah, it's either three hits or six, I believe. Nice. Now starting to push some smart buttons to say, hey, stop with all this. But his sword, ooh, just committed to the big sword. Stop. Nice. Right I mean, away. that was as good a punish as you can on a move that's not punishable, right? Just do a yeah. ten frame throw on a negative nine move. <laughs> pull it. Pull it. Ooh. Yeah, we pull it around you these cards. You so well. <laughs> I can't believe you called it like frame one. Like the basically. <laughs> King said, we, we don't take kindly to Yoshi's in these parts. Ooh, gets the wall blast in return, though. It's gonna be, it should be good damage in return. We're gonna push the other wall? No. Oh Ooh, my goodness, and now bomb. you're just back where you don't want to be. Hey, hey, wait, stand up. Oh, oh man, armor. Ooh, what a combo. No. He won't die from this, but it's gonna be close. Especially if you drop the combo like that. Breaks the giant swing. Oh, oh hey. Two to two. Staying alive. Let's see who takes his first game. Fight. That's that is one. the second time that only the yeah. three blade swings has equaled an offensive situation. Either through throwing or by sidestepping. That's pretty crazy. I gotta look at the frame data on that. That might be some, uh, some more usable tech for the boys. Ooh, challenges with a 4-3. Nice. And we're going to the wall. Yes, we can. God. Can we build nice. it? <laughs> oh, my God. As All right, that was sick. That was sick. That was optimized damage right there into the kill situation with the full crouch three. And whew. It was looking good for just Andy until they went down to that final level. That was absolutely crazy how that changed the the, the dynamics so much. It, it's just, it's one of those impossible to, to predict that just, it had such a significant effect on the back and forth between them, being in a smaller space with the wall breaks and the fact that Jasani's combos are traditionally gonna end in those power, you know, the power bomb versus what um, Inca can do with the wall carry. It's, man, damn good, damn good. Ooh. Are we actually gonna get into this match? We All right. All right. okay. We're, we've arrived, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. But switching to the stage, we still got a wall blast here, but there's only one. <laughs> right, like the last one. All right, the two one jab punish. The no sword portal was oh, two. That nice was sick. That was beyond sick. My feet were there, and they're not there any longer. Oh, that was, I mean, getting past the miss the way he did was about as close as he could and still didn't manage to hit with the uh, the smash, but made the follow-up work. Hey, good tech, now you're in the corner. We tried to teleport away, but no dice. Forward three, Sandy's like, it's like one of those situations when you eat, when you guess wrong rapidly like that, you really feel like the other guy's like, don't stand up, but don't stay down. And you're like, <laughs> Oh, yes! Put him back on the wall! <laughs> that was sick. That variation, fortunately, does not do as much damage as a real giant swing, but it was enough to set up the kill for Jasandia. No, again, two rounds for Jasandia, and Inca's got to come back. Oh, man, and this is a little bit like what we're seeing last time. Early up two rounds. Oh, in the back? Yeah. Only four hits before they drop out. Oh, gee! Yeah, what? He, oh oh my goodness! Plus 17, or, or minus 17, and just Sandy's decision was, I'm gonna giant swing him. He's that plus a million takes, on me, but I'm That gonna takes a lot of, uh, uh, that takes a lot of balls to just say, sure, yeah, maybe I was negative 17, couldn't act, but I'm going to do a giant swing. 
sidewall, or how do we end the year? Okay, the Jaguar split one. Nice! And the running power bomb. We sparkle. Nice, just pulls the trigger on the launcher. Four, 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 Again, on reaction. That's the second time in this game that we've seen that option come out, Kai. Get up, get on the wall. What? He does not get the full running two plus four, but still manages to finish the round. So it's all good. We'll forget that ever happened. Fires right back. And it is now one to one. Both of them now fighting for their tournament lives. What do you think? Stage switch back to somewhere we feel more comfortable? I mean, I don't know. I, I am not one to even claim that I can know the mind of a Yoshimitsu player. <laughs> Inscrutable as they are, sometimes there is a logic deep inside their adult. <laughs> Oh, all right, I'm gonna stop talking mess about Yoshimitsu players. I'm sure you're all very nice people who do good for Get the world. Ready for the next battle. All right, we are, okay, you know what? I'm okay with this, I'm okay with this. Oh, uh, that's definitely not good for Inka. This can be very scary depending on who gets to match point first. Oh, I'll hit confirm. Sandy with a huge 80% life for lead right now. 20 seconds oh, in, and he's about to that. finish. Yep, he's about to finish it off. Not looking so hot for our Yoshimitsu hero, Inka. Just Sandy looking to make quick work of this. Nice backdash he made the Dragon 2 with, and then floated Jeez, how many jabs? <laughs> that was such a great backdash from just Sandy. Great awareness of the situation. Wow, the the very rarely seen crouch dash down forward four counter hit. He is harassing him with these down forward twos. Rainbow All right, drop. get him in the corner. I'm okay with that. Oh, poisonous! The breath, not the Yoshi player. I'm sure they're nice. He tried to set up the guard break situation. That's like kind of the new stuff that the Yoshi Mitsu players are doing since the patch. He, what? He no way! And he, he hit a man that was not there. There was nothing you could do there. It was just a pure guess. Every hit would have killed you, unfortunately. All right. All right, we're spending it right now. This is what he wanted the stage to do. All right, is this the beginning? Is this the beginning? Oh, if that had hit. If that had hit, I would have been... I would have been beside myself. Alright, the Sobot hits. Again, he plays Whoa! the mix up. He twitch ducks and he dies for it. Sometimes it's not worth to play the mix up, but I feel like his muscle memory. He wants to duck the forward two one so bad. Punish. And yeah, that, that might impact. Uh, yeah. And just like that, yeah. just Sandy moves on and loses bracket. Have some self respect, Taylor. But we're going into this. Run back, losers finals all over again. Dragonov versus the Reyna. Is it gonna be any different or will Junior once again come out the victor? Nice step. Well, walked him all the way back in the corner. It was nearly 180. <laughs> we're just pressing. Let me get in there. Let me get on in you. Oh! Nice, Ooh. finally the big action. Sidewall though. Sidewall ruins it. But just lets the down forward one two rip. Nice That's block. On, nice block on the low mid. And of course it hits grounded, why wouldn't it? And we're making a safe repeat. Yeah. Nice. Down back two. That's enough. Oh, -ho! electric to the face. We're going to the wall. Possibly exploding, exploding. No way! Grounded hits, my bad. That, that okay. wall combo does, does, that he does is so weird sometimes because sometimes the last hit hits the wall and sometimes it hits grounded. But trade in Junior's favor. Oh, he's chasing him down. Nice! Oh. Doesn't hit the Not wall. Once. wall. Yeah. Let me tap you in the toes. Oh, the Usoku back into four. He is, Junya is moving with this character. He's shifting between the stances, between options over and over. 
and... Oh, just steps the 442 entirely, says, I don't want to take that. Yeah, we're talking about dragging off, kind of like run, trying to run you over. Up until this point, this is looking good now. Look like Fear was having a trouble to actually get started in this first game. Nice War God kick. Oh, 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 oh. Let me just crawl on over to you. Gets the crawl into the, the tackle and doesn't break the one, the one throw. Ooh, whips. No big punish, but the sidestep force and then the axe nice. kick. Nice. Good throw. Blocks. Trying to weather Just the storm so in. much offense right now. Finally fights back. He's engaging. What a hop kick. But oh, the drops the combo. Oh, just enough to kill with the the grounded scaling on the last hit. And we're going to final round. Ooh, that's a string rock. Should be trying to step these running twos, but... Oh, that's one punishable. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you go into stance either. Oh, Not man, push! You're dead. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, no, you're not! Oh, my bad! Wait, 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 that wasn't punishable. <laughs> that was not punishable. I think perhaps even Junior was like, oh, I'm dead, and just didn't do it yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that was a really, really active uh, series of rounds there. They both were just uh, tr taking turns, essentially running very oppressive game plans. Uh, Junior really layering buttons in a way that would have me basically crying on the floor. I, I I I can't even imagine trying to fight through that rain of pressure. But you know, Fear did. He managed to find the spot, and he managed to make it. You know that that one player game, kind of so to speak, that the Dragon Off players like to do. Get started getting the running twos, forcing on the block, and especially on that small stage with the wall blasts, managed to pin finally pin Junior down for three rounds. But going into the next one. Who grabs her out of the down back too? It's a low, but she does not avoid highs at the beginning of the animation. Oh! oh. Nice and pressure back to the wall. Ooh, you around her. She's not dead off this one. And then sidewalk with her, and then down three to finish beautifully. Nice. Let me plus you all the way back. Ooh, down two whiffs. Let me plus you all the way back. Junior just holding back, not even trying to step away from the wall. Now, finally gets, switches the, the scenario. We haven't seen a lot of 4 4 twos coming out of Junior yet. The hell sweep. Oh, the second oh. hit. Woo, he got, he blocked that so far on his side that he got a better punish than he normally would have. <laughs> and then the hatchet kick, another round. God. Fear of silence, one round away from taking it. A counter hit, running That two. was so fast, jeez. <laughs> Try to, get, try to get the space in to get the running for rewall swept, but just a little bit too close. No break on oh the Oh my one. god, the speed is out of control! Crash dash four, you're in the corner, Junior. What are you gonna do? Heat burst, oh try to get some god. space. Heat burst right back. Does it break? Alright, little break five damage. Break, throw. <laughs> Waiting it out. Oh, tries to in. heat smash. Tries to do it again! Ooh. Oh my god, I don't know what option he tried to go for out of Heaven's Wrath, but Fear mashed on it, and I think he counter hit the second hit of that string. Alright, Dragonov versus Zhao Yu. What interesting custom from Fear. But yeah, like I said, you can't necessarily depend on the AOP working on the incoming. That right there, that back one. You might see a lot more of that in the matchup. Oh man, just, just hits it, wow. The waning moon come out. No duck on the string from Dragonov. And if Ling can be the one on the offensive and calling the momentum, then uh, P Ling will be in a good good spot. Heat burst hits AOP down. 
But you see, again, retreating back to that mid-range with the Heat Smash catches him. Nice block. Ah, the punish! So, it, that, that's a kind of a messed up situation for Ling because she doesn't have a 15. It's minus 15. She does not have a 15 frame while standing Punisher. Her hop kick is 16 frames. Yeah. Best she can get off that is that uh, he can get it, probably. Man, oh man, the excellent whip punish on that last round finisher. It's spelling uh, maybe a little bit of peeling momentum right here. Love it. Mm -hmm. Put him on the wall. Hit the hit the and hit oh the my goodness. I even want you to win and that's not okay. <laughs> the hypnotist is right something there. else. Right there gets the counter hit. AOP one plus two, like I mentioned as well before this match started. Man. Everything I was talking about is happening so far. Ooh, okay. it's getting spicy in here. Oh, I'm guessing. oh. he's guessing wrong each time. I'm Hypnotized. Literally three. invincible, unbeatable. You can't see. You've been hypnotized. Cheater move. You know, when the, <laughs> listen, this game was first coming out, I was like, man, you know, it's been a while since, you know, because Ling's had hypnotist since like Tekken 4? Yeah, a like, long you see time. A lot, you've never saw a lot of it outside of very specific situations. And I was just like, man, it's really cool that her heat thing is now putting a, uh, you know, a renewed focus on hypnotist. I little think did it we be know. this good. Right, little did we know. <laughs> we need to go back. <laughs> like, I think it's cool, but I was like, man, it's good. It's very, very good. I think the, the I mean the, the the sort of linking factor between all these things that is so so good is that he really does take some characters to another level, right? Mm -hmm. A whole nother, if you will. It's uh it's crazy how effective Zhao Yu can be with so little risk. I think that's the only thing that has me rocking back on my heels when I play a good Zhao Yu, is that sometimes the risk feels a little a little slight, right? Like this yes. great homing low knocks you down for guaranteed follow-up and heat. But if I block it, I get a wall standing for it. <laughs> it's like, oh, I, get under I it. Don't, I don't mind her having great tools. I just, no, it's, she's it's, sick. It's she's just one hard of those to be right that sometimes you, against her. Yeah, this, it's one of those characters that makes you play them, and you've just got to get with the program or die. Get with the program or die. <laughs> if you're failing to get to the pro, in the program right now, Currently Whoa, leading. hey, cinematic evasion. Feeling on four rounds in a row right now. Uh, trying to get to CD4. Another block on the hatchet. Like I said, like trying to pressure, get a punish, and then try to retreat back out to mid screen. Nice, just back off and then pull the trigger out while running too. I love it. No break nice. Again. Doesn't break it again. This is getting kind of crazy. Oh man, nice stay down. In we go. Back dashes the, the back flip. Oh, almost with punishes. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Whoa, no. Beats Interrupt the with a four. Yeah. Nice. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Five rounds in a row now for healing. But it's another CD4. Catch it. Hatch it again. He met, did he mess up the last one? Boom, boom. Another one? Nowhere to go, finally, good block. Finally getting the dragon off round that he wanted. Oh Combo. my goodness. Healing has a life. Bam! Oh, oh, cannot get the smash out in time. May have not been looking for it. It gets a little predictable when the light bar gets down. Went into back turn and got hooked. Oh Power man, oh man, we're going to the wall. Boom, boom. He's got to try and get away. He tried the back oh. to the wall, got tagged, but manages to roll around and make the situation favorable. Heat burst for heat burst. Counter hit hatchet again and again. Heat smash. One, two, one, finds the mark. Hit the fist. Oh. Feeling really trying to press the issue oh. here. Just like that, we're all even in the second game. One, two, three. 
Uh, skill hit at the end and blocks it. Good. Oh man, nice punish. good punish. Jeez. Yeah, that's minus twelve. Oh, just like he called it out, little eight framer. And then again, retreating out to the mid. Oh range. my Maybe. goodness, the call out at neutral. Can't he believe this. He might be dead. Oh, he you is dead. are toast, sir. The new generation of Tekken players get to show out now. Okay, we're down to the Peach Custom. We've seen everything else. How many custom slots do you get in this game? Is it eight or more? It's a very good question, which I'm sure King Ray knows the answer to. <laughs> Maximize his usage of them. Counter hit down 4 2 1. Nice, and that combo is so automatic for Jake, and I love that combo. King Ray trying to. Fight back up close. Nice, a lot of respectful blocking happening. Nice. Oh, and a behind uh, you. Nice use of the heat burst to try and stabilize the combo. And still get awesome. the and, Yeah, the vertical extender. It just leads to more combos working even after weird wall hits. And just goes straight in with the heat dashing launcher. Very cool, King Ray. Very cool. Nice little whiff punish. These guys have played so many times already. Been like, <laughs> it's been a month. It's been just over a month of Tekken 8. It's like, these guys have played so much now. It's like, the layers have already formed. Oh, just on the tip of that one, nearly whiffed. Whoa, okay. The duck? Breaks the two. Oh, nothing ready for a whiff punish. Breaks again. Man, a lot of breaks going on right now. Sends the keeper this time. Nice duck on the high. Oh, sick. Oh, nice tr trade. Tries to sneak it in room. there, but the trade means death. Jake Man, one round away from losing this first game here in our winner's final. Nice pick up. Expertly done. Misses and puts himself in the wall. Uh-oh. We guess it right today? No. Not We're the going first for the time. King's Bridge. Romero's special. Let me stretch that back out for Yikes. you. Yikes. Converts, dead. very nice. I like it. Oh! Oof. doesn't get quite punished! Was him in the corner? Oh, that man, combo. oh, man. The Rage Art would have killed. And again, it, it feels like even the best players in the game right now, some of the highest performing people in the game, right after that heat dash, you could have just Rage Art. Mm -hmm. It's so strange how so many players are not thinking, oh, I, let me just get the kill. Let me just get the kill. Man, oh, man. This neutral is, is actually kind of crazy right now. Holy shit! Because they're like just chilling in range one, just like, and then waiting. It's like. Another 4 3 DT. Oh, he stayed down! Wow. Wow. We I went from 2 0 to 2 2. Here, it's anybody's game. It's been happening so much tonight, guys. It's just like somebody will take two quick rounds and then just bring it right back to the final round situation. All these guys are so hungry to win tonight. Ah, good punish. Jake tries to force it, gets oh, a float. Oh, that was actually a crazy floor. float. Yeah, and he's ready. He converted for almost a full combo. He kept running because he's in heat and armored. So he just ate. The, the first kick. hit's not where the damage is. He's not dead. Oh, he is dead. He charged it just enough to get the He's damage dead. increase. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh man, oh man. Another rage art stinger here at the end. Ah, King Ray going up one to zero here in our Final set here in the winner's side. Jake Man, can see what kind of adjustment we can make. I don't think there's really a necessity for a stage change, but it's always something that Jake Man can, can uh, option if uh, he feels differently.
Mm -hmm. Kind of feels like it'll go the way it's going to go regardless. But perhaps a uh, floor bursting stage. Pikmin. He's been going to Stratosphere a couple of times. Oh, Elegant Palace this time? Interesting. I, yeah, that's a interesting you know, pick. You know, I don't a, agree with it, but it's interesting. Sidebar, I feel like no one ever picks Sanctums. <laughs> we got our fill during the, the play yeah, test. Just, yeah, maybe right. Yeah. Oh, oh he's smart to break it. What an optimal choice. What is this combo? I thought that okay, was, that was it. He got a little too wacky. He got a little too crazy there. I love the can can to challenge the run. Ooh. Oh, oh but he spent it. Smash. Dog I whip. I love, I love, maybe it's because they know Ray's timing or maybe it's just <laughs> luck, but. That was wild, okay, that was crazy. Everybody's backdashing on wake up and they're avoiding that high, uh, Empowered move from Asuka. Because kind of King Ray does it with the same timing each time. Could could Jake Man have rage arted when he saw the hold? I've been told that it works. I have not tested it myself, but I've been told by some people that that is actually the count. If you have rage and she does rage art and doesn't let it go right away, you can, you can rage art and beat it. But I, I don't tried it, it, it myself. That would be the suckiest feeling to do it and then still if lose. If somebody told me that and I lost the tournament because of that, <laughs> I would like go fight them. Fight. A nice block on the 4 4 for 2. Uh-oh. Yet again. We're going the other way this time. Okay, go to the oh, jeez! Okay, breaks. <laughs> oh wow! Meaty, meaty arcade owner. That's actually nuts. Jake man with the slick setups tonight. Nice sidestep blocks too, keeping his movement really small and concise, like compact. Because I'm not over committing to certain sidesteps or certain back dashes, so he doesn't get tagged while moving around. We oh, blow it up. I'm yes, so on we point, are. we're blowing up. Yeah. <laughs> the voice lines. Oh, okay, with the can cans. Nice. Yeah, definitely knows to call that out. Oh, push too soon. Well, too many hits, maybe, but still trying to keep his turn with the heat burst. Side step Yo. two goes all the way around. Look at all that life. Look at all the recoverable health. <laughs> I mean, he's got no heat, so he can't heat engage. So all that gray health might as well have been just real damage at that That's point. real damage, yeah. Even a rage art wouldn't have got too much of that back. Man, King Ray up two to nothing. And that one looked even more confident, in my opinion. That one was just more of the same momentum. Uh, man, what's Jake Man got to do here to turn this one around? I don't know. I feel, feel like it's like Jake Man is having some good moments. Just King Ray, maybe he's just getting used to this king matchup i really like the choice of using the can can kicks on the jaguar step you know outside of like heat smash where you kind of do have to guess because it puts you airborne it like if you commits to a button too fast or even the throw it'll counter hit because you can counter hit throws in this game so he just goes for rko you can counter hit that as well if it if he can't block low like he can block but like i don't know if he can cancel the jaguar step and block low fast enough Right. So normally, it, even if it doesn't counter hit, you're still, you know, in a relatively neutral situation. So it's a really interesting choice for that. And from the very first moment that King Ray threw it out at the beginning of that one, it was like, whoa, a light kind of came on and we saw it a few more times. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're going to Stratosphere. I wonder if it's worth it to bait out the, the run, you know, <laughs> to say, run at me. Maybe. Oh, nice! What and a trait in his favor! And I think this is the other big thing, like, King Ray has been getting a lot of these, like, trade hits, and this has been converting them wonderfully. 
Yes, and especially using the heat to get those stray hits into something more meaningful. It's really crazy, the awareness. Mm -hmm. Nice little oh. stab. That is, that is, you know, even though that 4-4 four, four, neutral 2 is safer in this game than it was before, King players do complain that it's way more linear than it was. Oh no, I'm so sad for you, King players. <laughs> Three, trying to keep the pressure on Jake, man. Ooh, the second hit gets him. Power dunk. And music cutout was sick. <laughs> oh, just one extension. No extension. Oh, you tried to challenge it. You foolish fool. You should have never done that. Because she can hold it, I can never tell if people are committing to their buttons ahead of time or not. It's like, or they're just like, oh, I can kill her. I can kill her. Fight. All right, two rounds. One more round to go. Jake Man going for all the throws that can break nice. the floor, but this time he faked him out. He's like, I'll go for Giant Swing instead. Another Giant Swing. hit picks them good Plus frames, no gravy duck. all the pressure that's gonna blow it up and you're dead three to zero an extremely confident win by king ray jr over last week's champion doctor but maybe do we like that kind of balance whenever it, it will make you know if everybody is messed up it will make tournaments run very fast I'm sure being ahead of schedule all the time for Tekken 8 tournaments will be a boon for tournament organizers. But uh, all right, so we got the. We've already broken the first. I hate that I know that's Rock Lee. I don't even watch anime. <laughs> I just have osmos this awareness. In the hypnotist mix, and we got it perfect and broke the first level all in the first round. Woo! What's going on stairs? What are we doing here? Yeah. Yeah. And you can and finish four, four, three. Yep. And sometimes it's just like situations like that where it's like breaking the floor there didn't really add any real significant damage to the combo, but you just take it away from peeling. Like you don't <laughs> want to be in a situation where he gets a messed up combo on you. Oh my goodness gracious! There we go, the AOP hop kick shows its head. Oh! Into the hop and Oh throw. my god, with rage, with rage, with rage! Honestly, that might have been the better option than rage. Yeah. That one was it, because rage wouldn't have killed, but you could have done heat into rage into heat on wake up. That's what I was thinking. Just go for the kill with a strong non heat mix up is just as good. Obviously, feeling knows better than me. Come on, yeah. let's be serious. Right. No block on the firecracker. Like the roll. The cradle throw, but no throw. And Triple H is getting hit with everything right oh, now. Oh, oh my goodness. Step on his, step on his foot. The, the wiggle? The wiggle? You oh, got to be joking me. Got to be joking. Healing doesn't understand. Those are the rounds that tell people, make people think you should nerf Link. Those are the rounds you don't want people to see. Those are the rounds stop, you hit people Stop with doing this in the public view. You're, yeah. Everybody's watching. You killed a man in public like that. And you want people on your side? Right. You're not helping them because, <laughs> right? Not engendering a lot of support with those ass whoopings. That was pretty crazy. That was actually godlike. The, the wiggle into the counter hit low, into the heat engager. Mm -hmm. Um, th that had me disconcerted. The the, the wiggle counter hit, the, the the wiggle key charge. That yep. I, I was actually a little bit taken out of my element. All right, Triple A's got to try and uh, refocus here. He got hit with the Ling playbook for almost three rounds straight, and he's got to try and get something going here. But P Ling looks on fire. Huh? Oh, okay, all right, let's punish this. Let's get our mix going now. 
Healing does not want to try to uh, deal these, with this. These move. successful yeah. hopkick challenges, but they're just hitting floats. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Ooh, nice, even it up, get some life back. Not gonna be Lead it. Scaling. And run up beat smash, I like it. All right, so hey, by the way, I do get to play this game, just so you know. The what? Uh, what? Uh, what? I like the 4-4-3 four, four, hit in a combo, so he's gonna get a limited combo, but he gets something out of it. Nice. Okay, finally. The hop kick. Finally. She's gonna AOP. Oh, not really. I really thought he should keep AOP on wake up to try to avoid that oh, situation. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, let's proceed. He first. Nice! In his mix! Oh. No break on the two throws! No way! Throw. Just the regular old Jose? Triple A being a little bit hesitant all right, all right, to approach. All right. He's being hesitant to come in because he's worried about AOP stuff. Oh! Oh my goodness gracious! Got right under it, but that's the kind of evasion you expect in one, right? That was a high. <laughs> one, two, three. How? Ah. This mix. Oh my goodness! All right, peeling one round away to moving on to losers finals. Finally, get the slide in. Try to go for the late hop kick, no dice. Counter all right, all right, yes, yes, we take those. Get him to the wall. Is Say enough stuff? of these shenanigans. How? Working. One more. Nice. Perfect round. Go up to the last one. Triple A trying to keep this one alive. A step on the back one. Oh. Punish? Nice, nice punish. That armor at neutral as part of mixes hasn't been working that much, which is nice that Triple H is seeking to block and punish on those. Mm -hmm. All right, always got to watch. You got to watch for the smish. Nice oh, call I love out. the call out. He is now gone from Peeling's side. Messes up the combo. Oh, no. Puts in the float state. Oh, but the wall was right there to mess it up. Hop and throw. No break. She's got a three-way mix on that now, too. Nice oh. anti-air. Oh, we finish it. Oh, too far. Oh, the down forward one enough to make Triple A go up one to one against Peeling now here in our loser semis. This is getting stressful. This is getting stressful. It's draining my energy. I am being drained. If he lost because the one time he hit slide is the one time that the... The, the, the follow-up that works like 100% of the time in this game did not work out for him. I would have felt so bad for AAA, but he managed <laughs> to scrape out the win at the end there and we're bringing it to the final game. It was a goofy, like weird hit, so I didn't understand why it missed, but it still didn't feel good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we're getting into this game three. Winner moves on to play Jake Man. Let's All right. See Let's see where our Let's stage see. is. Gonna get gimmicks? No, we're going to straight up on the scene. Yeah, straight up stage. Triple A started to get a little bit better at you know dealing with healing, trying to stunt on them, but the healing has a bunch more tricks in his bag. Nice oh, nice. Up. Yep. Get up. Oh my goodness Ooh, gracious! Oh man, the relaunch, it wasn't even ready for it. <laughs> and again, these hop kicks just are getting these weird little float hits for very little damage. Punish? Oh, not quite. Gonna see a burst here. Nice. Oh, just does it! Just sneak it! Just... 
gets to the wall, he's dead. Oh my god, you're dead. Oh my god. It hurts even worse when it kills you. Alright, first round for peeling. Play trying to knock that All right, stop it him. Works. Too low on the Too many hits on the combo, yeah. Did a two-hit tornado there, so that's why we couldn't get that one. Oh, challenge with the heat smash. Nice. Gets the low on top of that. But he's still one hit away. And manages to put that knife hand in Zhao Yu's chest. One-to-one one -to -one on the rounds here. Nice break. Good punish. Oh, nice! There's a whole string. Gets him in the corner now. Hit with his two heating cage. Oh, Ooh. tries to throw back dash. Very nice. Oh, hits him in the back! No way. Nice, I, nice, I, nice, if nice. that last hit had missed, if the aerial from the ground to the sky hit had somehow missed AOP, I would have clutched my pearls quite fiercely. Where's he going? Oh, I thought he was going to get oh. to the high, and it went oh. mid. Oh, potentially final round here for Peeling to move on to lose his finals. Firecracker hits, stays nice. down. Nice, we wouldn't stand up. We stay down on those. Oh, barely avoids side getting sidestepped there on the running three. Oh, oh my goodness, now we're going to the wall. Uh, oh, oh, we've been hypnotized. Going. What a good block. Breaks. Uh, no, oh, the it. wall move for the end. Peeling two to one. Victory. Yeah. Staying with the Rock Ling. I like it. It's a good skin. I like this skin. A duck. Ooh, the lost ending too, actually catching the, the AOP there. Oh! Nice punish step and then block. Where's he going? Hello? It's okay. <laughs> Dropping the legs hot. A <laughs> uh, respectful neutral. Ooh, oh, let's get, let's get engaged. Going to the wall. And it's just two. Jake may have to hold all this, but he finally... You know what? I think that did a lot of damage. Holy crap. All the damage that was done on that one. You might be left with a sliver and you might not. Yes. Okay. We, we're slivered. Nice oh. block, but slow reaction on the alley kick. Single alley kick goes unpunished and it wins the round for Jake, man. God! The damage on that. Nice, good break. What's, what's crazy is at these ranges, it's a little bit tough to see like which alo you want to use. But I mean, the the, the Jake Man's like desire to want to use the, the oiled muscles uh, armor uh, is is like using it a lot. Right, you got to kind of pick up on that a little bit and see where you can capitalize. Nice. And he gets away, switches the wall situation. Heat dash, trying to get a mix going. Gets counter hit. Spins it again. Just throw him. Just throw him. <laughs> That's good too. You can do, we can do that too. We can do that too. I, I I I was a little scared of the wall for a second, but you were a lot further than I thought you were. So he's using he's using the power uh, the power crush at that range because of Ling wanting to use moves like that. That AOP 1 plus 2, the big back Exactly, flip. no. He's 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 basically using, um, you know, like buff pecs, oiled pecs as a way to say, like, there's no way you can approach me with those neutral tools. And if you do something that has enough recovery, I can punish you and go into heat. Right. Heat burst tracks the sidestep. If you, yeah. Return. Unfortunately, no heat engager. Oh God, the damage on an armored move. Fight. 
trying to sneak in there a little bit. Get a little, get a little looser, a little more fancy free. Still, the defense is pretty solid on both sides. Ooh, yeah, he would have low parried that if it didn't whiff, it looked like. Again, yeah, using that power crush more. Over one finds this mark. But both both these players, they like try to get a Whoa! little bit going. Maybe like they'll stay in for like maybe one, two moves. Oh, Beautiful whip. Good, punish. you can take them all the way to the wall. Not dead yet, one less hit. He didn't low pair the second hit. He oh no way! Oh that would have second! Oh the punish! Two rounds to two rounds here in the first game of our losers final. It's getting tense. It's getting tense, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. And another blue spark. 4 3 DDT. He's lost like 75% within 10 seconds. Heat burst on top. Trying to end it right now. And the homing mid takes it. Game one. Jake, man, that first game felt like it took forever. That was a war. I'm exhausted, and that was only game one here in our losers finals. Jake, man, turning it around and taking the dub kind of at the last second there. That round was definitely definitive. As you said, 10 seconds, most of your life bar was just gone. So, uh, I mean, come on, man. The, the amount of times that we are doing, uh, you know, like, the, when he flexes, bro, you can, just you cannot approach. You just have to marvel, right? You just have to admire. And so you've got you've got Zhao Yu over there, Myron, and not able to really approach with those mid tools um, that Peeling would rather prefer to do, right? It's, it's just completely changing the scope of this match by saying, "Hey, let me flex. Let me just flex. Can I flex?" Yeah, in that mid range, it's like it's hard. Like you don't really have a super good low that can threaten and potentially counter hit some of those power crush tools like size up four it's not doesn't feel super great and if you would decide hey well if he's gonna keep doing this power crush i'm gonna run up and throw him then if he doesn't and he throws out let's say like a df21 or something like that and you get counter hit now you just feel dumb for trying to run in on king point blank but it's a good it's like it's like a good um a good like time waster move where it's like you're not winning the match but you're not losing it you're just really wasting time and maybe trying to frustrate your opponent there's a lot right. of like a lot of them are like mid mid strings that really they don't give a huge reward on hit or on block but just like i just need to waste a couple of seconds to really think about what what i need to do the oh this round. man and speaking of winning this round if you don't tech this you're dead good job for peeling jake man maybe playing with his food a little bit no way yeah, 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 no, 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 I, I approve, I approve. Smart decision. It's not gonna be quite enough, but it's gonna put you in a good spot. Watch out for heat burst. Woo, yeah, Ooh. this pacing was immaculate. He's really over there just like, you like this? You like this? Ugh. It's like how big his muscles get, too. <laughs> oh, okay, we're seeing the AOP down. Actually, starting to put in a lot of work here. Peeling, using the forbidden tech, he AOP'd down. I couldn't tell Man. if he actually avoided it or if it just wasn't close enough. But... All right, Peeling getting a little pressed, getting a little pressured. We're seeing some of the Ling, more of the Ling stuff coming out. Oh here. man, the side step finally. I was just about to say, going in with these harder lows to counter the fact that you're so willing to press oil pecs just means, you know, it's gonna, you're gonna, you're, it's gonna work. Yeah. It's gonna work. Oh, That's finally fine. lost the low, and all you can, all you get is a wall standing for it. Good job. Nice punish. Launcher, oh, you're gonna not, be in the air. You're not King Ray, you can't hold it. But you're still alive. Oh, RKO oh yeah, didn't in. want to get wall splat. You lose the wall position, though. But oh, that better. was sick. Nice comeback, Jake, man. Nice, and the whiff on the sort of predictive sidestep for there. Breaking? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna get low. And I just hit you? I'm allowed to just Whoa. hit you? Just enough damage to perfectly oh, put nice. her into rage. 
Oh, now we're trolling? Now we're using the buffs. Oh! Man, just like before, Jake Man bringing it back two rounds, about to go up two games. Let's see. That's a good start. Can I get the ground throw? No, that still goes into burning power bomb. That's so sick. Don't ever do it to me. Nice, Go nice down. get under him. Now you're at the wall. Yeah, you want to get up. <laughs> nice block again. He's been really good at blocking these. You got to be joking! Uh, another Tekken game. Another game where King's mids can't hit AOP properly. But in this wall, you're here, done. Bro. You're done, so. Uh, even with all the frustrations of AOP, Jake Man 2 0 against Peeling right now. Said I've had enough of this! <laughs> Can't AOP if I grab your legs. <laughs> that was nuts. It's this kind of situation you're not supposed to show on stream, or else bad things will happen to this character. <laughs> yeah. Healing's trying to win, but Jake Man holding strong. He's again like using using the old pecs to uh you know kind of just like you know what? I don't want to rush in recklessly. I don't want to run into some nonsense. So I'm just gonna sit out here, power crush. Maybe you'll run into it and do something dumb. If you don't, whatever man. We got 60 seconds on this timer. I'm gonna spend every single one to try to get this get this win. Jake gone. All of a sudden. Uh oh. Just fell out of the fell out of the lobby. We'll get him back. Oh, he's soft lock apparently. Alright, alright. That's fair. We're getting back in here. Jake been going up two to nothing here in some real nail biters. And I, I gotta say, the neutral in this match is like review worthy. The, that, more than almost any other match in this tournament so far, I would say this matchup and this this set so far is worth watching the tape back on. Because you will probably learn a lot about both of these characters. The way they are having to to joust for position is a far cry from the kind of, uh, you know, unga bunga that you might see down uh, in your old purples, your blues, where we're just kind of trying to make it work. These are trained experts, cold killers out here making these characters look truly incredible. I I'm really, really impressed. More so than I, mm -hmm. I think I could have even guessed that when I saw this matchup. The fact that they're playing in the way they're playing right now is it it's uh, it's stress building. It's actually making me stressed out. Yeah, I mean that's the that's what I used to tell people, like the idea of fighting lane. You don't want to rush in because of the threat of AOP. You don't, you don't want to throw out res reckless buttons because she might go back turned and launch you. She might walk around you. Mm -hmm and launch you you really have to be willing to take your time on this character it's just harder in this game because in an instant she can pop heat and all of a sudden she's the one pressuring you all the time but jake man's doing a really good job of just like taking his time being calm picking his spots and the, the the games have been close but you know it's still healing now having to having to uh dig themselves out of a zero and two hole right now if they want to try to get to grand finals that is a big mountain to climb. King is a large man. Pectoral muscles, extremely enormous, very meaty. Uh, that's not going to be an easy task. The fact that Jake Man has been able to pull these back both games really says that the understanding of what to do to change things around, uh, yeah, very, very clutch understanding and adjustments on Jake Man's part. Mm -hmm. Jake Man's back in. Hopefully, queue up correctly. King Ray Jr. watching intently from his seat in Grand Finals. Which one of these players will be there to try to beat him in two sets? <laughs> All right, chat. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you pulling for? Let me know. I see you guys in chat. You got Jake Man or Peeling. Just type the names in there. <laughs> Get ready for the next battle. All right. Type, type AOP avoids heat bursts if you want Peeling to win. Type meat engager if you want Jake Man to win. Honestly, we got a pretty decent split here. 
Holy, you're just gonna get hit! What? Okay, okay. <laughs> it looks like they didn't want this stage. It's my guess, because I can't think of anything else that's I was like, wrong um, here. excuse me? Pardon me? Uh, yeah, okay, this makes sense. Just send it back. Oh yeah, because Jake came into the lobby second. So he had stage pick, and I guess they couldn't figure it out in time. Yeah. Only so much time on that timer to uh, to figure out what stage you want. Probably couldn't get the in chat uh, soon enough. So we're just going to take the virtual dub so that Peeling can make uh, the stage selection. All right, all right. We're going back to the beginning. We're, we're go traveling through time. We're resetting. It is now two to zero. Peeling is going to be picking the stage. Now you can type in the chat who you'd like to win. Crush heat burst for Peeling. Meet and Gager for Jake, man. Everybody let <laughs> know who you want to win. I am pulling for a reverse 3-0 from Peeling. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Unbiased commentary. <laughs> and I'm over here just going like, I hope everybody has fun. <laughs> I just hope everybody has a nice time. <laughs> uh, honestly, at this point, I, I do fail to see what peeling um, adjustment could be made in order to have a really substantial effect on this round. I, I would say Jake Man really has kind of pulled peeling's number when it comes to understanding the neutral. It's clear. I mean, the results speak mm -hmm. for themselves. The ability to just snap, 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 and pull three rounds um, when making those good decisions about neutral. I, I, I don't know where Peeling's supposed to go other than make have extremely risky low decisions, which may or may not work. Holy smokes! Ooh, that was a mid! Nice That's stuff. illegal! There is an illegality to that, which I cannot define in this moment. There is a lawlessness to that that I don't like. Looks like... Looks like Zhao Yu decided to put on the black suit and turn to a stone cold killer. Firecracker doesn't get blocked. Maybe the answer is just like, what if I just hit him? <laughs> what if I just run in and I hit his ass? Who would? Okay, just rub his face, duck. Oh, okay. we get him under again! Ooh. Oh, you're at the wall. You're at the wall. All right, two rounds in a row. We have we engaged the core, or are we going to see another three rounds in a row from Jake Man? I think maybe Peeling decided he has to be he has to find that one spot and be more aggressive. Nice. But with and the now we are going to punished. Wall. Nice, nice, good punish. Oh, man, oh, man. Nice. Ooh, big hop kick finds its mark. Knows where the wall is. Oh, that was, that was actually a pretty sick setup as far as things go. Oh, nice, breaks the throw. We got the flop on him, no dice. Healing, this guy can try to- Oh, tries to go for the launcher. All right, the DF1 finally hits AOP properly. Another one. Wow. Oh, man, that, that was wagging direction. Yeah. One, two. Again, oh, the meaty RKO. The deep run. The deep sprint. Doesn't break it. Oh, we're going for Kingsbridge. You're dead. It's going to final round oh, of game man, three. Oh, man. Is this about to be Peeling's Nightmare? The third time in a row that Jake Man just runs a reverse one on her? Oh, no. Peeling's got to be nervous. He has got to be nervous. And okay, now he's being hesitant about coming in. All right, running three. Spends heat burst right away. He desperately wants that at least get some kind of threat going here. Oh, oh didn't get countered, oh, 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 and that's worked so many times. We love it. He's gonna smash. Oh, no, gets punished. Smash. Crush throw? No, uh, runs out of smash. <laughs> oh, no. Out of the air. 
Even life bars. Run, Zed. Oh, counter, counter hit. hit. They said it couldn't be done. They said it was oh. impossible. Deep. Huh. Oh, side step. Oh, he just lets it go. And punishes it just enough to kill. Peeling, staying alive. With his first game of this first of three. Holy smokes. All right, all right. And that was almost, that almost got away from him. That almost got away from Peeling. That, yeah. that was just, that was just centimeters away from the same result as those other games where Jake Man pulled it back there at the last second three in a row. And the timing on that overall couldn't have been more fortuitous. Any of the hits in there would have been really, really bad for an airborne uh, Ling, including the throw, which would have spinning uh, pile drove them. Uh, there's so much about that that could have gone wrong, but the fact that orbital work there is pretty big brain. The next battle. Like, and the way that final round started too, of just like peeling, just trying to force their way in and pop the heat burst. It really had a little tinge of like, I gotta get something going here. And then it started looking kind of bad, and then that counter hit orbital happened, and it's just like, all right, finally something working out. But Jake Man going to into the stratosphere really wants to make some explosions happen on hopefully his own match point Neck the breaker. aop duck baiting is is i i'm in a tizzy over this i'm in an absolute tizzy do you hear me Ooh, almost got cali rolled doesn't break the giant swing is he near enough to the wall i can't tell no but he doesn't tech oh get on the ground the air Him down, heat smash right away. No, double down. Oh! Now he has the life lead, instant heat smash. And even though run the, run the tape back, was that not at the low? Was that not oh, a low? That was the hit with this mid into a low. No, the the the, the king low that have missed when the AOP, oh, yes, 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 but that wasn't AOP ducking, that was AOP side step. Avoid of side step AOP because it does both. Because you know, yeah. Sound like a Ling apologist. I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to call it down the middle, man. <laughs> I'm not saying that I agree with it. I'm just saying I understand it. Oh my well, goodness, man. a perfect! And now we've done as we've done so many times: two early rounds by P Ling, Jake Man looking to go three in a row again. How's this gonna work? God, if he gets neck breakered or something by Ling, he, Ling's gonna end up blowing this up. Easy, like 40 damage right there. Ooh. He wanted to pedigree him or something. Oh man! Ow! Oh. That combo is gonna be crazy. Just going to the wall. Oh no! Doesn't get the extension! Triple low. Pedigree! <laughs> Alright. And that's now a launcher because you let her get all the steps in! All three steps. He wasn't even in heat burst. You just let her step three times. No way! Enough to kill three rounds straight. We're gonna go to final game here. Peeling has made the adjustments. Quick spin. Oh. What was originally looking to be Potentially, Jake Man running over Peeling has now turned into a final game competitive situation. Oh my goodness gracious. Peeling is waking up. Jake Man's got to pull it together if he wants to survive. Ugh. My heart is actually uh, a little bit, uh, it's racing. It's racing. It's running a race. Just, I don't know. Just feels like Peeling's just decided to up the tempo, be more aggressive, just be willing to try and stay in Jake Man's face and mix him up. And, you know, if- Yes, it, it, the, the script change. This absolutely being more willing to get in there has really made that last round uh, just totally different. Mm hmm And, you know, Jake Man, it's like, when he has to be on the defensive, obviously he has the power crush tools and everything, but it's like, sometimes King has to hold a lot and, you know, Jake Man's just unfortunately making the wrong read a couple of times. Another thing is that uh, Peeling started going low a lot less in Hypnotist than he did in the beginning few games. I felt like he was going for a lot of the lows and Jake Man was getting the blocks. So now, more often than not, when 
Peeling does run the hypnotist mix. He's choosing mid. Except for that last time where he got all three steps and then got the fully charged low as a launcher. But we're going into this final game, Elegant Palace. Alright, this is a good stage actually for both of them. Gonna love these wall break situations. And again, like what we said, Peeling oh, is deciding to be on the aggressive end right now. Obviously, you'll open yourself oh, up Oh, that could have been bad. You'll open, you'll, you'll open yourself up more to that King counter hit game, but, you know, AOP might be able to save you a lot more from those situations. Ooh, gets caught in the That's back That's gonna sting quite fiercely. Ben Keepers, you don't want to die of resources in your pocket. Oh, 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 no, giant you're done. swing! You're done. The forbidden tech, the full screen run up buffer giant swing. These King players, man, they'll show you, like, hey, man, yeah, you can do a giant swing from full screen, you just gotta do this, and it looks like hieroglyphics the way the notation comes <laughs> right, out, man. Right. It looks like a Soul Calibur throw. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Summon Suffering from Ivy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh cool. let's go. Ugh. Oh, nice. Way to respond. Oh, nice. Oh. Pulls about the armor. Glistening text no more. Oh, I love the challenge with the long range move there. Even with the pushback on the burst, you're still able to reach out and touch somebody. Counter hit, slow into the ripcord lariat. That is crazy. That is crazy. You can just be out there just dropping it. <laughs> it's how, uh, it's how the, the female Tekken character lures in the male. <laughs> right. In their natural habitat. Yeah, just make a natural, just put a natural <laughs> geographic over, dub over on it. Oh, nice. Finally. Just in time to use it into the mix. We still take it. No counter hit. Oh, jeez. Oh! Through the wall? I oh, tried to, but still getting one more hit. Oh, you he tried to grab him, but you're getting... Oh, no way! Can't and no it. punish! What?! Oh no, not like this! Oh no, not like this! My, my heart! My heart! Why is even it. happening? You got to be you you got to be shitting me right now. This is not allowed. You're not allowed to do this. I don't, I don't even know if we can curse on this cast, but I don't care anymore. Like they're just ruining me right now. <laughs> Breaks the chain throw. Counter hit low. Ooh, nice good break. Shining Wizard gets broken. Keep burst, it's still my turn. Sets the four, AOP down, but not fast enough to punish. Spends the Heat Smash, guess right. Yes you do, okay. Heat Smash, Heat Burst in return. Oh, challenges with the shoulder! Clean wall! Gonna run at you. Safe mid. Oh, and hit. that is it. Oh my god, Peeling actually does it with a last game that absolutely has melted my mind. I really don't understand what's happening for a good portion of that game. But all right, we've moved on to a uh, what damn, uh, I don't know my Nintendo that well. What's the Peach Bowser thing? Uh, Bowser, Bowser, that's it. Thank you. Whew, that was good. I was really gonna hate if I if I was thinking of that all night. How many Nintendo characters can you make with this one preset? Exactly. <laughs> just like, right. With just Lily's dress. Exposing the character design, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> nice punish that. Oh, doesn't quite do it. Just oh, going yeah, hard, going in the paint. Oh, man. Oh, nice. And the punish is sick. How? Extend. More action. Nice Good more. punish. But all of that combo damage, you know, allowed Oscar to recover enough health so she wouldn't yeah, die from that loss anymore. Oh man, no punish on that immediate sidestep. That was so good. Nice Running out of time. Man, what a whiff punish! Man, that has been working so much. Peeling has pulled the trigger on that enormous back flipping launcher, the up back three, and it is seeming working every single time you make that call. And what do the kids say nowadays? Peeling is locked in, it feels like. <laughs> but beautiful can cans. Gonna get the clean wall splat. Nani Gusto on deck and get an empowered move at some point. Right there. Ooh. Ooh. 
finally we get the best song in the game. Oh yeah, we're on Sanctum. We finally came here. Finally came here. It's almost, you know what? You saw that too. That was your power prophecy, knowing which Boom. stage we did. <laughs> one to one, these guys are fighting hard right now. Beautiful duck. Oh man, the Ooh, combo was two. sick. We didn't even have to spend heat burst yet for that. Now we're spending it on the heat engage here. We have all these empowered boosties. No, we're gonna spend it on the side. Oh my three. goodness gracious! Look at all this recoverable health peeling has. We're gonna spend it on heat burst instead. Oh! oh right in the jaw. Oh, can't quite punish. Yeah. Uh, these guys, like, they're both... It's nice! Like, now that's a whiff punish. Unfortunately, that's not a combo. It's like neither Tragic. one of them wants to run in recklessly. It's like putting your hand in a blender. So they're both trying to wait for the perfect time. What the Oh! Hell? Spinning his heat. Yep. Unfortunately, it's stepped! Very nice launch, back turn combo though at the wall, not gonna be great. What a, no, what a conversion off that back turn combo. Oh, nice, and does not get out of there in time. The dynamic two, not quite enough. One more. Nice, that's all the damage you needed. You've been calling that move out, Bloodhug. That's the winner here in a lot of situations. Two, down one plus two. Force the wall issue, but it doesn't break. Nice the throw. Team. Get back in the corner. Oh, anti air. Oh, in the back three again, spelling disaster for King Ray Jr.'s opponents. Oh, I thought it was going to be almost the same frame. Nice dunk. Couldn't get a launch on it, though. Still has one more useless. Yeah, one of that he's smashed so badly that you did the same thing as before and get you just sail right by them. That's unfortunate that that's happened twice in just that game where Peeling was so desperately wanting to get the plus frames from the heat smash and the hypnotist to just go into back turn. The problem is that the setup for doing that leaves you so exposed to a sidestep, and King Ray had no problem utilizing that. Yeah, when you force the issue like that, it becomes really obvious. So, you know, a lot of people are saying like a lot of some characters heat smashes are kind of hard to punish. But when you telegraph that so obviously, then you can see twice in a row King Ray Jr. managed to sidewalk right around it. Right. And, and that just goes to the fact that, I mean, Peeling's been looking for that specific thing, right? I want to go back turn, I want to heat smash, and when you when your bar is training and there's no time left to do it, then you don't have to guess that hard at the timing. You know Peeling wants to do it, and that's the problem, is that unfortunately for Peeling, uh, King Ray is making, so you don't have time before that. You're putting such a, a tense neutral situation, the opportunity to pull it before it's too late, is you're just running out. You're running out of time and heat. Quiet. Nice! Of course, Quiet the forward like... two with exceptional range. And with the wall splat here. It's a low, low kick. It's Nani Augusto. Ooh, cancels it and eats the heat smash. Finishes nice. the string. It's cashed out for it. Decent use of your heat bar. Spends it. Oops. Just trying to mash on that Walking life back. bar. Did you press? Nice walk. Yo! Honestly, a back throw probably would have okay, you know. <laughs> Round two. Fight. That was sick. The first time that the charge rage art has actually been successfully avoided, confounded, and beaten. I mean, you can't hit a home run every time, I guess. You gotta miss them every so often. <laughs> Healing. Trying to take his time down. Ooh, the orbital just barely whiffed, and King Ray Jr. on point with the whiff punish. It's empowered, sends it right away. Oh, 
Holy sm this is like, this is so tense, any given moment. <laughs> oh, nice yeah. sidestep and smash him into the corner once again. Even if he'd been blocked, that would have put you in a fantastic plus situation. Yeah, it looked like Peeling was trying to back four to go into his string to heat dash and just got whiff punished for it. Look at that chunk of fucking chip damage that yeah. you know, Gusto takes. It's like, oh my what? god, no, you just gonna dude. get hit? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my days. <laughs> Ugh. No, it's, it's, been, it's, it's been a while. Peeling has done a good, trying to do a good job of like not letting that situation happen, but finally King Ray Jr. managed to get like that key combo conversion and blow up the life bar. Oh man, that was almost dangerous. Now it is dangerous. Get in the wall. Plus two. Uh oh. AOP ducked under the 4 4. Nice block. Only minus 12, like we mentioned before, though. If you really want a good punish on that, you have to commit to the low parry. Ooh, hit, got hit out of the air. So, couldn't really set up the hit in the situation like you normally be able to. What? Whoa, okay, that was sick. That was actually sick. You had to know that you had to do a move to get out of that throw that was about to happen to you. Nice oh! Got rage. Kill? Yeah. That, that's not gonna. Uh, because, again, two more slides. It's gonna be very close. Oh, okay. Not as close as I thought it'd be. Oh, wow. and just like that secures game two. It's not looking good for P. Ling here in our grand finals. 2 0. -oh, and we're just about to go to bed early, if you could call it early. Just past 1 a.m. here on the East Coast. King Ray, King Ray Jr. trying to go to bed with a smile on his face and another TNS victory under his belt. And now peeling once again, 0-2 in oh the hole. Man. We made the comeback once before. This will this will be something else. Obviously, we've seen some real back and forth, just like we saw in the last one. But again, King Ray's already done this and just has to do one more. I, I think the probability is low, but again, I'm spitting in Fate's face and daring it to make me a liar. All right, let's get locked in and see this possibly final match. Is Peeling going to be able to pull it back and keep this game going? Or is this it? And King Ray is going to be our first double champion. Pacing to make the holding move just riff like that. Ooh, double jabs, the float. Gonna try and get to the wall here. Oh, but accidentally corners himself. Oh! Yo, come on. Ooh. Be what? serious now. I and then uses crazy. the heat dash to turn her around to get a more to get a better combo. Not enough to kill though. Beautiful punish. Can't kill though. And not if the cameraman decides to screw you over like that. Oh! oh King Ray Jr. just puts out a button. And that pushes Asuka forward enough so Zhao you can land on her. The legs for two and then oh, oh, oh got it right into oh no a blockable in the kill combo that's sick Ooh, all right answers back with a round of his own oh jeez oh so no fast. king ray is really feeling it right now this is dangerous New and the hiccup settings. firm. Oh, come on. Hold it together. All right. Oh, oh again, geez. The, the, the damage the on the counter hit. Yeah, he keeps doing the jab now, and it's pushing Asuka forward. But she's getting hit by 
the ending of the backflip. Gonna try to do backflip three here. Yep, look for it, and just a back three anyway! All right, potentially tournament point here for King Ray Jr. One more round is all he needs to bring the night to a close. Can he do it or can Peeling stay alive here? Counter Ooh. hit! The, the can 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 the first hit of can cans is a low and it counter hit the power crush. Uh, oh yeah! Oh, no whiffed it. That was a huge, huge decision maker. We're going to the side wall. We're going to the other wall? No, not quite. Dead? Are you dead? Not quite the scaling no, seems to be quite. too much. Oh no, it is because you did the spike! Beautiful use of the resources and King Ray Jr. 3-0 against Peeling.